Sweet. Hello, one and all, and welcome back. We're, uh, guess what? We're back again. We're gonna, we're trying our hand at some Riz. Uh, but we have a, we have a new guest with us. We're playing, uh, we're playing this with Daru for the first time. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we, ha we have, uh, Emo and, uh, Zara back, like usual. But yeah, so, sorry, I'm just, uh, getting everything all set up. We still have to get in call, so we'll, we'll do that and we, we'll get all set up, but yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of it today. We're just playing some Monster Prom and just hanging out and having a good time. We're playing Monster Prom 3. This is the one that we haven't played before, so that's kind of what we're doing. I hope you guys enjoy. Also, I'm standing up, so... Using my my new mic, standing up. So, I haven't tried it before. But as soon as we all get into call, we'll uh, we'll just uh get all set. You know, I'm just gonna call them. That might be a good idea. Yeah, I'll just click start a voice call. See who answers. Hey, look. True. I I was just all like, why not? Let's let's just go on in. I did. Yeah. I do love the PNG. It's so adorable. <laughs> Hi, Daru. Hello, hello. Are you ready? It is very heckin' cute. <laughs> oh, and there's uh, Zara. Perfect. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Sweet. Let me, uh... <laughs> I need to also... I'm, I can just do all individual PNGs real quick. Well, there's there. Nope, that's not the one. I just need to grab Daru's PNG. Hell yeah. Which is funny because I'm the I'm a scientist, so I I don't really believe in magic, but <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I I just I just have I I. <laughs> I, I, I just have Daru like so much bigger than the two of you. <laughs> you know what? Get, get down to get down to their height. Let's go. Hello there. Oh. Hello. I... Let me make sure that worked. Oh, it did. Hello, Mallow. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, crap. Hi, everybody. How you guys doing? Hello, hello. We're gonna... Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, and look, Daru's in chat as well. I did mute myself. I finally added a mute button. But hello, everybody. I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, hello, welcome. My name is Trayvon One. I'm a scientist VTuber. I'm a variety streamer, and I love movies and TV. Also, please let me know if my mic is too loud. 
and the game audio is too quiet. I do need to know that stuff. But thank you so much for the raid, Mallow. Uh, we're playing Monster Prom 3, Monster Road Trip. Uh, I can't hear audio from the game. I did... Okay, cool. I do have the game muted at, at the second, just so that we could all talk and get ready. But thank you so much for the raid, Mallow. But we're playing with Daru, Emo, and uh, Zara. We're... Uh, uh, Zara and Emo have played the other two with us, but we have Daru hasn't played any of them. But we're starting on the third one for him, I guess. So, of course. <laughs> but thank you, thank you. Okay, I need to undeafen and unmute so that I can get back in. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello. <laughs> Ma Mallow was uh, very gracious to raid to me, so I, I had to deafen real quick, but hello. Do you guys have Steam open? Do you Wait, you have three of me open? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you know. I want to play the first ones. You know... I'm something of a scientist myself. I can catch a little bit of this before work. I can't hear them on Discord. Oh, yeah, I got to reset that. Whoopsie. Thank you, Mello, for reminding me. I do. I forgot I forgot to turn on the Discord. I now I now have a mute button on Discord, so I can very quickly turn it on and off, but oh my gosh, yes. You're so that that way if I get raided, I can be like, "Okay, let me mute real quick so you guys don't have to hear me do that." It's great until the it's in game chat. True. Oh no. Yeah. All right. Can you can you guys hear them now? You guys should probably talk. Audible? Okay. Yeah. It looks like you're audible. Let me turn you up though. Okay. What's up? That, that way you guys are nice and loud. Hear them, but they're a little soft. Okay. Yeah. I will. I'm bringing it up oh. as high as I can. Oh, add. Oh, sorry. I'm. I think next on the list of my um, upgrades for streaming is a new mic. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Understandable. There's no way being at 0.77 in my OBS that I should be quiet. I know that I'm a quiet person. There's no reason that my audio should be so quiet, though. There definitely is a setting on, probably, that we should try and find. Yeah. But I always say that and then we forget. <laughs> Always. I just now fixed all of my Nightbot stuff. I'll def help. I, it would be much appreciated. <laughs> oh, man. Just quickly when you're free. There we go. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Definitely. I sent you guys all party invites. Or invite to plays okay. or whatever. Okay. Let's see. Just FYI, my mic in Discord has been cutting out randomly at times. So if it starts yeah. doing that, let me know. Okay. I almost... I almost threw my whole mic away the other night when we were playing D and D. Oh no! Understandable, understandable. <laughs> the throne. Oh, thing double edged cat. Thank you so throne much throne throne for the follow. I don't know why the sound throne. alert didn't go off, but all right now, quick, everyone. Go I just us. noticed it on the feed, so no, thank you so much no. for the follow. <laughs> Welcome to the lab rats. <laughs> you don't have to. Yeah. Wait, what happened? Wait, my my game disappeared. Yeah, mine too. Your game disappeared. I didn't even get yeah. the invite. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's, no. You guys haven't even. It still says that you guys are just invited. I'm not there. Yeah. Also, my thing keeps breaking. That's weird. Hold on. What's your thing? thing like, um. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, my, uh. You know, like the messages for Dean? Here, Mine keep breaking. Here, let me send you individual oh. invites. Let's. Maybe that breaks it, so let me cancel all those and just... Okay. Ooh. Ooh. What Ooh. kind of screen is this? Hello? Hello. Hello? Okay, what I want... What help I click? Both my monitors are okay. black. Oh, no. <gasps> me too. Is it just oh. black right now? Oh, shit. Are we having that same <laughs> problem? Did your game's Mine's broken not. too? <laughs> I am in the menus. One sec. Oh Let me. God, it's so loud. Is the Ooh. game loud? 
No, I think it's my computer. <gasps> Daru, that picture of sushi you sent me, by the way, earlier today looked so good. <gasps> Agreed. So Make sure you have a controller. No, I want to play with mouse and keyboard. Yeah. Are you good? Yeah, can you see the game? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. You guys good? Okay. Can I just cool. Do something real quick. I'm yeah. So go, sorry. go ahead. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you get control. You guys have control of my mouse. I'm not giving you guys control of my keyboard, but. <laughs> no, no, no. You're fine. I just had to switch over to the proper screen. Mm -hmm. Sushi. Yeah, it looked just so good. Uh, <laughs> I'm floating midair. I know. I'm gonna fix you. I'm gonna I'm fix magic. you. Oh wait, why magic are there two emo. Of you? There's Wait, oh, hold on. I know what's happening here. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm <multiplying>. Everybody's double. <laughs> um, Wait, there's two of me, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's... Fi oh, my God, you guys are so tiny. Is everybody what just multiplying? <laughs> I, I was so safe under Eva. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> FYI, I don't remember any of the voices I did last time we played this. And the and, only one um, I remember <clears throat> was sorry, I, I did not mean to. Uh, okay. Polly. It was Polly is the only one I remember. Mal oh, I Malice remember says it was, Dahlia? it was Shadow Clone Jutsu. Sorry, yeah, it was Dahlia. Oh, I wish I had Shadow Clone <clears throat> Jutsu. Um, I have to do a much more mild version of that before, because I can't lose my voice. <laughs> oh God. My my throat was <laughs> feeling it yesterday from Pokemon, so. Ooh. Double double toil and trouble fire okay. burn. Alright. Are you good? Can I can I move my mic or my mouse? Apollo it's gone. Do you oh yeah, yeah, you're good. You're so okay. good. Okay. Oh. Don't worry, I clicked off real quick. Okay. okay. All right. Scott, well, we'll just play and Liam and, and, and. local. <laughs> now nah, we're gonna make our own voices because that's because just us. Because we can. I, I don't know if it's the cool. smartest idea, but four players. Let's okay. Go. What's your road trip style? We got friend hugger. Play with your friends without anyone ending up with a failure or an MVP ending. No pressure. Absolutely not. Road tripper. <laughs> Absolutely not. The true survival co-op experience, including a player performance ranking at oh, the let's end. Go. Absolutely. And we got and oh, I wanna play prank master at some point. Okay. No Nor easy, <laughs> normal, or hard, guys. That's normal. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> oh Look. god. All right. no. <laughs> Okay. Dar Daru, do you want to be the narrator? Oh, oh, I'm the narrator? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I got that. Oh, I'm down. Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to have to road, place that mystical beast of asphalt. When you're talking, you get you can click know. through. Oh, 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 you just oh, can you click. can click you can click anywhere on the screen. Oh, let's go. But we once tamed it, we once tamed it in what became of one of the strangest, most wonderful journeys of our lives. Back then, when we were young and unafraid, summer was coming to an end when Polly and Scott planned a road trip. Darcy the whole was thing awesome. was bound to go off for rails. This was the prank masters after all. Scott Howell, not twenty one years. A werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. And Polly Geist, 22, a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Each one of them were, by themselves, an agent of chaos. <laughs> but together, together, they were the perfect combo for hijinks to ensue. Let's go. Oh, well who in their right mind would have agreed to join them on such a trip? Okay, who one sec, I need, to, I need to take control of this. Polly, I love how Polly pretty much never tells how she dies. Yeah, you know, the mystery of it all. It was and probably drugs. Scott is the best boy. Oh, you're right, you're right. Also, I have a feeling I'm going to have to voice Polly a lot. You <laughs> might. Oh, no. I have a feeling that might be true. I'm going to just, like, 
turn all of you guys up because Malice says you guys God. are all soft. All right. You guys want to try talking? Hello. I was choked Can on you hear feet. us better now? Can Hello. you hear them a little bit better? Testing, testing. I want to be the same person I always am. <laughs> me Do you want to be? Okay. Well, let me click here. I'm going to click me first. Custom name. Stop dying, please. No promises. <laughs> okay. Who's player two? Uh, I'll be player two. Okay. Ooh, she's hot. My mouse right. is not working, by the way. Such lovely so voices. I like for me. Do you want it? Not good. Oh. You just go down to custom name. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Oh, 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 thank oh. you. Oh, oh my. You're the Frankenstein girl. Yeah. I, I can't. Can you not oh, move your no. can you not move your mouse? <laughs> no. <laughs> it wasn't working last time either. Okay, let me just turn it off and turn it back on. How about now? No. Okay. Well, we'll we'll take care of that. That's fine. Oh wait, no, you want pumpkin. Yeah. Pumpkin. I, I need it. Yeah. I yeah, yeah. misspell <laughs> it all the time. Okay, it's and okay. You get oh, to be the yeah, you get yeah. to be the zombie. Let's go. I can. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, oh, wait, I'll I let you type this, huh? No, I, I, I got it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Okay. There you go. Just okay, you got, it? you got it. Yeah, yeah. I got, it. I got it. <laughs> you don't have control. You don't have control of the keyboard, so you just have to control of the mouse. Okay, I just have to hit okay now. Yeah, you're all good. <laughs> you can also change your pronouns if you feel like it, but I don't think any of us have changed it. No. Oh, wait, we get trip vibes, guys. What do we want? We got desert vibes. Lo-fi. Lo-fi. We do like the lofies. Wait, I want to listen to the rock real quick. Oh, uh, it's just, it's like, we can do lo-fi. That's fine. Yeah, let's go. Oh, they're so cute. They they're so, so adorable. Cute. We're gonna have a great time. Was the road trip a dangerous idea? Yes. <laughs> was it poorly planned? Yes. Hell yeah, it was. Me Did we do anything. it in any way? Fuck yes. Oh yeah. yeah There's plenty of in the end. We were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. Also, there's a ton of cussing as well as references to sex and everything like that. <laughs> Just so everybody know. Okay. I love to cuss. So we got. It's great. So I think we're all together, right? Like that's. Okay. So we can go to the lake. Let's get wet. Oh, <laughs> or we. That. Or we can go to used car dealership. Miles of smiles. You know what? Let's go get wet. Oh, let's go to the lake. Absolutely. Woohoo! Yeah. Let's swim. Right. Polly, how do you swim again? I love getting wet. I forget what I did for Scott's voice, so I'll just make it up as I go along. On a hot, sunny day like this, a lake visit is the perfect way to beat the heat. It's also the perfect excuse to see your hot friends and swim base. Honestly, hell yeah. Base, <laughs> absolutely base. True. <laughs> Not that you were fantasizing about that this whole time. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what do you do now that you're here? I love that I'm just blowing bubbles. Oh, wait, what? Oh, God. <laughs> the time has come. <laughs> Polly, I've been meaning to ask you, how, how do you road trip? <laughs> Give me a second. <clears throat> There's no shame in asking, Scott. Let me explain. <laughs> um, all of us will share six essential resources. We need to manage them wisely to keep this trip afloat. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> so we need to be careful because the choices we make during the road trip can affect these resources. And if one of them depletes completely, we can kiss this road trip goodbye. <laughs> I get it. 
So our goal is to avoid running out of any resource and keep road tripping forever. No, no. The goal is to reach one of the six destinations every road trip leads to. Okay. I have this travel guide that explains how each destination requires us to hoard a different resource. You can check said guide whenever you want. <clears throat> and click on the destination tab to the right, or press E on the keyboard, or LB on the controller. There you'll find the requirements to reach a destination and win the game. Let's not look at that. <laughs> let's not look at that. Just see where no, we we'll, end up. Yeah, let's we'll just see where we end up. Why not? <laughs> Enough exposition. Narrator voice inside our heads. <laughs> oh, good. We at least all have the voice inside our head. Exactly. We get it. Keep our resources far above zero and hoard enough of one resource to reach a destination. Let's go. Okay. I really regret that I ever chose that voice for her. <laughs> what <laughs> What do you want to do? Hard. So we can go swimming, we can build mm -hmm. sandcastles, and we can collect seashells. I want to collect seashells. seashells. Yeah. Oh, wait, this is your turn. <laughs> yeah, I don't What's... know if I think we get to... I don't know if we get to choose different ones. You always get. But it does say your name in the trees. corner. Yeah, it's gonna say it's trees. It is my it's my choice for this southern. one. I'm. I kind of want to build sand castles, so let's do that. It just felt right. You're having fun building castles when you notice that your sandy abodes have acquired some new tenant. <laughs> Bros, look! Those hermit crabs are moving into our sand castle. Oh. Okay, oh. we have. Oh. It's the lifeguards. <laughs> lifeguards, we love that. Okay. <laughs> Who? Zara, Emo, one of you, I think. Go ahead, Emo. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Um. Ooh, I don't know what kind of voice to do. Weed lifeguards. <laughs> yeah. Probably <laughs> weed <laughs> lifeguard. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'll just do regular voice because I don't think they're gonna be here that long. That's dope. We have king and queen crabs now. You guys are like the king makers of the lake. I can't click, by the way, so you have oh, to. Oh, yep. Oh, God. <clears throat> yup, and check out the king's brother sharpening that shell shard into a spear. I smell it. What does that say? Re regicide. 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 Coming on. Or regicide. I wonder, hi Stu, what are you doing at the lake? Uh, fuck. Where are we doing here? Aren't you lifeguards? Oh yeah, good catch. That explains these rescue floaties and this whistle and why my swimsuit says lifeguard. You know what? Good clues, good clues. Great clues, honestly. Oh, yeah. And that reminds me, as the lifeguards, we gotta check to make sure your sandcastles don't have any OSHA violations. <laughs> yep. Them's the rules for some reason. And I can tell you already that these castles aren't up to code at all. <clears throat> <laughs> Bummer, dudes. We'll be back with the paperwork to con condemn them. Should take five minutes to an hour, depending on if we forget what we're doing on the way. That's me right there we have to do something <laughs> bros if they condemn our sandcastles uh king and queen snippy won't have a place to call home <laughs> have fun There's lurking ma so mallow hopefully to works all right <laughs> time to save your crabs from total ocean annihilation okay Oh, I get to choose. You may have to replace the sand with another material. Sand is well known for its integrity as a material. You probably have to ditch the murder plaza. Chances are the murder plaza is the <laughs> least safe part of this. No, 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 not the murder plaza. We got to change it up. <laughs> I wasted two of our money. Money down. Oh. oh you goodness. and your friends spend minus two money on concrete, metal scaffolding, and other construction materials to reinforce your sand guy. We're back, dudes. Ready for us to hand down our verdict? Oh shit, it's me. Sorry, I was vibing with the music. You're all good. 
Wait a sec, Stu? Something's different about their sandcastle. <clears throat> Are you admiring the marble balconies with which King Snippy can address his devoted subjects? Hell yeah. Or are you more into the Rom Romanesque support columns in the throne room, which stabilize the castle and look super kick-ass? Do you like where I wrote Scott thinks you're super cool in this wall before the cement tribe? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I figured it out! Your sandcastle's not made of sand anymore! But if it's not made of sand anymore, can you even call it a sandcastle? Yes, we can. Screw you. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a good question, but let's not be so technical. Losing the voice. <clears throat> Architecture is much more about art and less about architecture. Architecture. Te <laughs> <laughs> Fake <laughs> word. Architecture. <laughs> <clears throat> We've still made a sound. I mean, oh God. Words. <laughs> We've still made a sandcastle, but we've broken the artistic boundary of using sand and totally redefined your preconceptions of what a sandcastle can be. A sandcastle can be concrete. It can be metal. It can even be OSHA compliant. <laughs> did, did we do it? Is it OSHA compliant, though? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, someone pressed I didn't e. mean to do that. Uh, no, are. I accidentally pressed the side where the oh, thing was. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Looks like we need 25 of any of them. <laughs> oh, well, sure. Um... It's compliant. This sounds more like an art piece than a building in now anyway, so it's not under our jurisdiction to judge it. Hell yeah, so we... we did it. You gain plus two mind from the artistic Let's... insight oh, of building yeah. a sandless sandcastle. Hell yeah. We got two mind, but lost <laughs> two money. Let's go. What do we want? Okay, we got a national park. Mm hmm. And we have a fancy hotel. Mm hmm. Go hug a tree, <laughs> nature nerd. I mean, I'm allergic to trees. So Dis what for the discerning mean? overnight what do guest. You mean? You're allergic to trees. Wait, I thought you knew this. I actually am. Oh, you mean in real life? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's go to the fancy hotel. Oh god. Do ghost oh, wrists? Oh god. Okay. Not really. It looks like <laughs> Polly and Scott just like have little conversations at destinations. Where do you stay when you're too cheap for a real hotel, but too fussy for a regular motel? Here, apparently. Okay. This place is full of glass. <laughs> Charm and boy. Three things you've always lacked. <laughs> Which means tonight is the perfect night to cosplay as a rich, fancy person. What do you do? Honestly, that sounds great. Oh. <laughs> Woohoo! Again! Wait, Let's choose an action and make an event happen. No one clicked anything, it's a tutorial. Oh, never mind. I see. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, I'm ready for all the randomness these events involve. <laughs> Actually, Polly, I was checking this travel guide, and it seems they aren't as so random after all. <laughs> Look, these different signs apparently refer to different types of events. And the most common type of events are called exchange events. After making a choice in those, you'll always lose a resource and gain a resource, no matter what. The trick is making the right choice, since that'll decide which resources are gained and lost. But, if there's a resource sign next to the event type sign, that's called a known resource. It means that resource is guaranteed to be affected no matter what our choice is. If the sign is positive, then the resource is guaranteed to be gained. If it's negative, then you know you'll lose it. Like, for example, if we see an action with this sign, we know we'll lose money here. Our choice will only determine which resource we'll gain. <clears throat> That's not so bad. Oh, God, I'm losing the voice, man. <clears throat> <laughs> if we know losing or gaining a resource is unavoidable, we could be strategic about it. This all sounds very useful, but also like too much pressure for fan favorite Polly to keep track of. 
<laughs> we just like, acknowledge other fan favorites. <clears throat> oh, I'm addressing myself. Zara, can we leave these decisions to you? Thanks. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. We can explore the amenities, visit the bar, or prank call the front desk. Hmm. Well, visit the bar sounds like we're going to lose money. Definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, hmm. it's, it's all completely random. We don't know what we're losing, so... But definitely yeah. money has to be the bar. I think we just prank call the front desk. All right. <laughs> when in doubt, prank it out. You tell your friends your plan to prank call the front desk. <clears throat> Sorry, I was drinking tea. <clears throat> <laughs> nice. What's the prank here, Zara? We could call in a fake bomb threat. Fake bomb threats are fun. <laughs> <laughs> are they? Yeah. So what's the for the wish? Bomb threat. Woohoo! <laughs> you spend the next 20 minutes explaining to your friends why a fake bomb threat is not a fun idea. It's to have some kind of common sense. Now that you right? put it... Now that you put it like that, I can see why calling in a fake bomb threat may not be fun. It really makes me reconsider the last four fake bomb threats we called in last month. <laughs> I've got it! Let's call the front desk pretending to be the town mayor. Tell them all motels must now provide complimentary rare steaks to all guests. Okay, you guess it's still a better prank idea than a fake bomb threat. So, to the prank phone. You know, it's not a bad idea. Well, what? Zarima. Oh, God, okay. <clears throat> Front desk speaking. You're the mayor, you say? Well, that's weird. Because I'm actually speaking face to face with the mayor right now. Oops. <laughs> Did you tell them about the rear stakes yet? Wait, you say you have the mayor on the phone. Ask the real mayor. That's fascinating. Put me on the line. <clears throat> oh, this should be good. Oh, she got evil. <laughs> I'm sorry, is the mayor a little cat dude? I get it. Daru? Uh, Daru, you wanna... I voiced the last one. Do you want to voice this one? <laughs> Greetings, me. Using my big political brain, or big politician brain, I've deduced that you're a version of myself calling from the future. Uh, sure. <laughs> Wonderful. You must be calling to advise me on if I should take the hefty bribe fancy motels offered me to demolish the public park to build a golf course. Yes, clearly. They offered me a lot of money, and I do like money, but I suspect their plan is a bit unethical. <laughs> so, future me, based on your inside future knowledge, should I take the deal? <clears throat> Ooh, uh... Do we take the, take the deal or don't do it? Huh, let's see, we got take the deal. In the future, you'll get very obsessed with launching your own shampoo brand. I'm sorry to say this, but shampoo trumps ethics. Jesus. <laughs> don't do it. In the future, scientists have discovered karma is very real, and we need sweet karma points if we want to fulfill our dream of reincarnating into a robo-dinosaur. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's the one. A week later, the mayor sends a letter to your car. No idea how we managed to address a letter to your car, or why they knew that would work. But just roll with it. <clears throat> Dear me, I, right. I wanted this to is just a threat. You your advice the other day. Thank you, Bliss. I'll hydrate the right now. Money Fancy Motels was offering would have been nice, but it turns out they were really evil. Not only were they underpaying their employees and sacrificing five random guests to an Eldridge Motel God every As Sunday. As you do. <laughs> yeah, but I that. learned they weren't even disposing of the bodies afterwards in an eco-friendly way. The horror! 
I just realized I totally forgot to send all those messages. I'm sorry about that. I bet we got so many karma points towards being reincarnated as a robo dinosaur. I've been working hard, racking up more karma. I even helped an old lady get into a taxi this morning. She was so senile. She said she didn't even want to get in the taxi. Silly old bird. No, you're not tripping. I, I, I totally to just forgot to send those. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been so busy getting karma that I haven't had much time to be a mayor. So I've been falling behind on my bills a bit. Mm. But that's a problem for future me. And future me is, of course, you. You'll find an invoice attached for my weekly expenses. Don't worry. I drew a picture of us as a robo-dinosaur to make it up to you. Rawr! That <laughs> means love the man in dinosaur. Hey, we got soul. That's Loki, a good drawing though. Like that's a rocks. great drawing. Well, you got laser beam eyes, titanium okay. abs, mo mod. Plus two soul for halting oh. fancy motel's reign of terror on this town. Oh wait, there's titty guns. There are titty wow. guns. Love titty guns. That. That. Honestly, so important. What are you I doing if your robo dinosaur like... doesn't have titty guns? Clearly, <laughs> clearly they've watched Austin Powers. So yeah, yeah. clearly. I like the fact that he has a jetpack. Right? <laughs> we did lose two, two more money, though. And you eh, who needs minus money? two money. Paying the mayor's bills, <laughs> though That's being cool. a good guy doesn't always pay. We we do need... I don't think we want to get any of our stuff to zero, though. <laughs> no, 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 definitely not. Um, can yeah. you have, What are these? The art exhibit and what? Okay, we got the art exhibit. Is it a mm -hmm. paint splatter or a clever critique of consumerism? You decide. We can earn money there. Or abandoned village. Well, at least it won't be hard to find a parking spot. Oh. Um. We're still fine on money. So if you want, you can do whichever one you feel like. The abandoned village. That sounds funky. Do you want a abandoned village? Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh! Why is the why? car stuck? Woo! I'm getting dizzy watching our resources go up and down. Jesus, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Is it even possible to know what we're losing or gaining beforehand? Dang. We're doomed. Put something on the radio. We may fuck up this road trip, but at least we'll fuck it up while having some fun. Exactly. Okay. Welcome to our humble radio show, where our guests give narratively convenient road trip tips. Okay. Today, we have road trip survivors Cormac S. Thompson and Hunter McCarthy. Guy, what can you share with our audience? Uh... Dar, do you want to voice or you want me to voice? Yeah, I can do this one too. Okay, you got this. Let me start by saying that the number one cause of road trip related deaths is not properly understanding how to manage resources. That was not the voice I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to laugh out loud. What the? Like, yeah, no, like, that was. How about a baboon looking guy? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's just a blob. Okay. Uh, <laughs> fuck. I don't know. You got this. You got this. And maybe I just do all mouth. Ah oh, yes, the dreaded six most unex. And eh, now that doesn't work. Ah oh, yes, the dreaded six most unexperienced road trippers think they behave in arbitrary ways, but that's simply not true. When you're making choices on the road, you have to look for little clues. Infer what resources you'll be losing or gaining. Money might be the easiest one. Are you buying or renting something? Money what are down. You buying? Hiring someone? Money down. Doing a job or selling something? Money up. But beware, sometimes a solution doesn't obviously uh, involve buying something, but it involves using expensive stuff you may need to rent or buy. 
And what about magic? The mysterious substance that fuels our cars. Oh, okay. Magic is tricky because sometimes you'll need to use it for spells, summonings, and curses. But that will mean lowering your magic and risking an empty fuel tank. And getting magic up can be quite hard. You could find a gas station, or you may need to res resort to performing sacrifices or colluding with strange, powerful entities. You know, classic road trip stuff. Oh, yeah, you know, you go on a road trip, you run into Cthulhu, he gives you some magic. Yeah, yeah. Shadow Wizard Money Gang. <laughs> <laughs> so true, so exactly. true. Our time is up, fellas. Let's discuss the other resources in future episodes of everyone's favorite radio show, Convenient Exposition. Oh. Applause. <laughs> yeah. I hate to interrupt, but I, I've had to pee for the last, like, 15 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Go, ahead. Something go pee. Too. Go pee. <laughs> I just wanted to find a good stopping point, but there just hasn't been one. <laughs> I would, so uh, can... I'll be right back. You're all good. Go, yeah, go. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and voice potty here. <clears throat> Whoa, that was stupidly convenient. God, did you take notes? <coughs> My voice. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> My bad. Well, yeah, I hope Pumpkin did at least. Otherwise, we're truly fucked. And not in the good way. So sorry, Polly. So sorry. Well, at least we know how to get money and magic up, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we'll just, uh, wait for them to get back. Yeah, good idea. Actually, this is perfect. I forgot to send all the... Discord notifications that I usually do. How are you guys doing today? How was your day? I'm doing good. I'm back. Welcome back. <clears throat> Welcome back. How was your day? Huh? How was your day? My day? Yeah. You know, it started off rough, but it ended pretty okay. You know, a fall in the parking lot with your coffee going everywhere is not a great start to any day. Yeah, yeah not not so much, yeah. That is not, uh, Our work does best, this little yeah. thing where if we sell, like, a certain amount of gift cards, then we get to open a little present. So $240 in gift cards and you open a little present. I got to open two today. Nice. That's fun. Yeah. I got um, chocolate covered pretzels Ooh, and yeah. hot cocoa chocolate spoons for your hot cocoa. Ooh, yummy. Right. That sounds so Let's good. Go. All right. Wow. There is nobody here. You've been you've been wandering this village for a bit and haven't met another living soul. What could have happened to all the inhabitants? All of their mm. stuff is still here. Mm. Well, Suppose the first order of business is two. All right. Ooh. What are we doing, pumpkin? I don't know what these don't. I, what do these individual faces mean? So this oh, will give us mind, mind hype, hype, and minus soul. Well, obviously we're not gonna do that. That's just useless. Oh, okay. pull, pillage what you can though. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that'll probably give us money of some sort. Probably, huh? I mean, it doesn't um, matter. I don't know. Um. Let's do investigate what happened. Okay. Yeah. The mystery is afoot. You and your friends begin searching the village for clues and run into your friend Joy. Oh, oh look, it's what? Joy. Oh, what did I yeah. give her? Oh, you gave her the, like the you gave her like the sexy voice. You gave her the sexy oh. voice, like the. Whoa, like the... what are you guys doing here? I thought yeah, this that was place it. was abandoned. I still can't click. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it is. That's why we're investigating what happened. Why don't we compare clues? I found some really compelling rawhide earlier before I ate it. <clears throat> no offense, but I'd rather work alone. Whatever took all these villagers could be seriously evil. You guys should leave this to the world-saving professionals. Oh, I forgot that she's like a... She's a hero, yeah. 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 
come on, we should figure this out together. I, for one, think everyone realized this village sucks and they all move to Vegas. <laughs> they all move to Vegas, <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Sure, if you guys really want to help me, hmm. why don't you try solving this Rubik's Cube I found? It's a very important clue, definitely. Oh, Sylvia Joy, I won't let you down. No, he won't. <laughs> he won't. He won't let you. He won't. Later. He's got this. Well, I'm stumped. This would probably be easier if I wasn't colorblind. Oh, no, oh. Scott. Oh, no, Scott. I can solve it. <laughs> this is Booty. Joy only gave us that clue to distract us from the real investigation. She doesn't think we're competent detectives. Then let's solve this case before she does. If we find the answer first, Joy will finally see how good and smart we are. Mm -hmm. Good call, Scotty. We'll be regular Sherlock and Watson. I'm great at reading people's micro-expressions to deduce what they're thinking about. <laughs> <clears throat> Boop, I'm sorry for the weird Ooh, he's message. chatting with chat. Yeah, sorry, um, sorry. Yeah, for some reason, Night uh, Nightbot just deleted one of Boop's messages, and it just because it was Dino Dan oh. like emotes. I gotta <laughs> fix that. Sorry about that, Boop. <laughs> yeah, we can go through later, and you can change Nightbot to only be an editor and not a mod, and then we'll okay. take care of that. Sounds good. Ooh, ooh, yeah, do you me put one emote, and it just like it's like nah, no, Bam -bam. okay, how dare. <laughs> ooh, 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 do me. What do my micro expressions say I'm thinking about? Uh, milk bones? No, wait. You're thinking about sports. Final answer? Am I right? You're asking me? I don't know what I'm thinking about. That's why I asked you to tell me. I love Scott. <laughs> me too. It doesn't take a detective to see that Polly and Scott are hopeless at this on their own. Luckily, you know exactly how to turn them into great investigators. Do I? Do you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Boop, uh, no thought whatsoever. Get fancy technology to enact the ultimate investigation technique, zoom and zoom enhance. And enhance. <laughs> or you need the acute perception of Sherlock Holmes. Who could analyze a myriad of details just by looking at a crime scene? His secret: doing lots of cocaine. <laughs> uh, you know, you're probably not wrong. It's probably uh, not a lie. Yeesh. Okay. Um. Hmm. I mean, cocaine costs money, so I think that. <laughs> I mean, so does, so does I mean, technology. Fancy though, technology. I, I, We're doing cocaine, homie. Do the cocaine? Okay, let's do Absolutely. lots of cocaine. Polly's gonna be very happy. Polly will be happy. <laughs> Perfect leap in logic. You and Polly do coke. It'll give you a hyperactive edge you need to notice the details you would normally see. Oh, God. <clears throat> Whoa! Okay, I'm ready to investigate. I'm like, so ready, I can hear my fucking pulse. <laughs> Wait, I don't even have one. <laughs> That's so funny. Polly, look, there's a phone on the ground. Let's check the photos on it. Maybe your super-powered Sherlock brain will see a clue. The last photos on the phone are one of, cloudy, uh, one of the cloudy sky above the village. You see a weird electrical storm brewing in one of the pits. Mm, hello, Boop. Fuck yeah. F oh god, Jesus, I can't even do this. <laughs> fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. This is so promising. Oh my god, are my teeth vibrating weird? Already? <laughs> Wait, forget the dumb photos. Look at this phone. Something's off about it. You're right. The case is correct. Maybe that means there was foul play. <laughs> no, forget the crack. Look at the ugly color scheme on the case. Ma <laughs> Mauve. Is Mauve. Mauve with ugly green stripes? Gross. I could do so much better. Oh no. Grab some markers and starts drawing a better phone case. 
the vibrant colors, the amazing design, the breakdancing stick figure. Hell oh, yeah. Natural. I want that phone case. That's crazy. Me too. You're so right. I so am. I should design phone cases professionally. I'll make us millions in no time, and then we can use those millions. <laughs> I'm more cocaine. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's party. I created an addict. I'm so sorry. She was already an addict. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Double addict. Of course. It's all so obvious now. You've been wasting time on prom, or summer camp, or road trip. When the answer all along was building a phone case empire. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's do this. Pumpkin, do you know anything about designing a website or running an online marketplace? It can't be that hard. You excitedly boogle. How Google. to design a website. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to build your fortune. That's exactly how I would Google Dizim. that, not gonna lie. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <clears throat> What's going on over here? I thought you guys left already. No, we're making an empire here. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you underestimated us, Joy, but we proved you wrong. We were totally capable of being millionaire phone case designers. What? Woohoo! You definitely cracked the case. The phone <laughs> case. You lose a minus two stamina, being coked up and hyper. But you gain plus two mind. Hey, let's go. We're at you 14 think you get more miles. stamina being coked up, just saying. <laughs> and now we're you're tired. You're tired. <laughs> Alright, uh, ooh, Gothic Manor? Gothic this manor isn't manor. just going through a phase, Mom. Are there, are there Gothic, hot gothic no, that, or, that or do we go to the con? Nerds unite. Ooh. Oh shit. Does the con make us money or take money? It's gonna make us it money. money. Yeah, because it's a smiling money face. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that one. I hope that village finds its people soon. It must be lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. A con. It's the perfect place to buy Naruto. your authentic nerdy self without fear of judgment. Let's go. Let's go. Cosplayer. Merch vendors, panels, gaming, tournaments, overpriced food. So much to do. So little time. What activity oh God. do you We're... want to try? The, the Garfield and Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's the... That's... Another one of the people we can get. It's Ooh. like the tentacle lady, but she is uh, very nerdy and cute. Let's go. So we'll gain money, but we're gonna lose some lose something else. We're doing this one for sure. We're tournamenting, baby. You find your friend Zoe checking out a post for an esports tournament happening at the con. We haven't run into Zoe yet. Look how she cute she is. All right, do you want to voice her? Or do you want me to voice her? Uh, I don't care either way. <laughs> okay, okay, I got you guys. Hold on. <clears throat> hey guys, are you entering the Dragon Heat Fighters XXX Esports Tournament too? There's is, a cash prize. Is that a hentai game? Whoa, they put <laughs> sports on computers now? The future is amazing. I've never played this game, but I'll give it a try. Gotten Zo, enter the tournament. She gets knocked out in round three, but Scott is still going strong. Let's go, Scott. He's incredible. He's pulling off such unpredictable combos that the pros can't keep up. Thanks. My strategy is just hitting random buttons and hoping for the best. It's worked out really <laughs> well so far. <laughs> he, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> he, he just like has... Do, 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 going on in his head the whole time. Do, 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 do. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> nah, Scott's just that Scott guy. Scott makes it all the way to the final match. He's up against Igor Kalish 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 Nikov. The Dragon Heat Fighters reigning champion. <laughs> Sorry, I was choking on my drink. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. Shit, Scott's in trouble. Igor's a fucking juggernaut. 
He was biologically manufactured by the USSR. What? <laughs> <laughs> to dominate every video gaming tournament on the planet and bring pride to Mother Russia. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. Choking on drink or choking on pee drink. Uh, it, 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 same thing, man. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> he was, uh, oh, God, okay. I almost read that again. I'm, oh, God, I'm having a conversation with myself. Let's go. Seriously? Didn't the USSR end, like, decades ago? Did it? Ask Igor dis disinterestedly. All of his button-pressing fingers have washboard abs. Oh, I did okay. not notice I was too busy destroying puny Americans at video games. Okay. Okay. Literally, how does that make sense? Igor ignores her. To me, Mug Scott, I must break you, dog, he spits. <laughs> I will crush you to bone meal for destroying the USSR. Yeah, but look how how happy Scott is. Come on. Did I break the USSR? <laughs> Bro, I had no idea. Sometimes when I become Wolf Scott, I break things without realizing it. Sorry if I broke your thing. <laughs> the only work. apology I will accept is your blood in my superior gamer hands. Oh, Prepare yeah. To perish. Superior gamer hands. Pressing random buttons won't save Scott this time. Quick, think of a way to help him win the tournament. Okay. Yeah. What's this? Scott needs more skin in the game. Higher stakes? Tell him you'll break a little <laughs> Billy's leg unless he beats oh, Kalish... I, I can't say that name. <laughs> Bless you. Ka Kalishnikov. <laughs> Conjure the spirit of a great warrior to possess Scott's body and fight. It's time to summon Genghis Khan. Scorch the fighting <laughs> video <laughs> I think I think this one's great. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I agree. I agree. <laughs> oh wait, we lost two magic though. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. We had to summon him. <laughs> the Mongols were mighty, and Khan's grandkids defeated Russia in the past. You use negative two magic, summoning Genghis Khan's spirit into Scott's body. Whoa, this is different. When did I get alive again? And why am I so hairy? I believe he still has his voice. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> Let me guess. Daru summoned the spirit of Genghis Khan to possess Scott and help him win the esports tournament. Classic. classic. As you do. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, wait, you guys don't do this when you take part in the esports tournament? <laughs> oh, I'll oh, not time. yet, but I will now. <laughs> now that I know. That's a very on the nose guess. You get used to. <laughs> <laughs> this game nuts you. It's crazy. <laughs> you get used to Dar's bullshit. It's back so. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's go. <clears throat> you get used to Dar's bullshit after a while. <laughs> okay, Genghis, we've got about 30 seconds before the start of the round. Got any questions? I have two. What is esports, and how do I participate? Oh boy. Okay, you have a controller that connects to a screen and controls the movements of your character. You use your character to fight Igor's character and win. Got it? Yes, but I have follow-up questions. What is a controller? What is a screen? And why is a talking squid with breasts explaining this to me? <laughs> oh. Because you want to? Mm. Fuck it. I'm just gonna use my eldritch powers to plant 800 years of world history and video game expertise into your brain. Hold still. <laughs> we got this. We got this. Jesus. Zoe touches Scott slash Genghis Khan's forehead. Her tentacle. Oh. And, her sc <laughs> and he screams like he's being burned alive. Neat. Neat. <laughs> I understand now. The ultimate esports strategy is smashing all the buttons randomly until you win. <laughs> also, you guys went to the moon? As in the moon in the fucking sky? <laughs> I think that's the first time I've heard Scott cuss. Competition begins, <laughs> and Genghis whips Igor's ass with his button-mashing skills. Woohoo! 
Hey, bros, I don't really know what just happened, but I think we went to the moon. Also, I wouldn't put us too money from the nice judges over there. Let's get lunch. All right, time Dude. to stop and get some rest. Okay. Ugh, finally, a place to rest. Even this spectral booty needs to do some sitting after so much shaking. The spectral <laughs> booty. Don't like the way that was phrased at all. <laughs> The guide says there are several rest stops like this one. We should be able to reach one, like, once a week after visiting four locations or so. Once a week? Damn, okay. That sounds good. Let's go chill on those benches, Scott. Oh my god. <laughs> As your friends leave, you realize you don't want to rest. Because you're utterly addicted to making choices all the time. And this rest stop is no different. Of course not. <laughs> no, no. We assess the many, well, five things you can check out around here. But beware. With the exception of the car, each choice can only accommodate one player. It's first come, first serve. Now, go and see what the different spots do. Okay. A noodle stand. So I can go talk to Scott and... Polly, I can get more info or I can go to the, I'm gonna go to the, let me go to the bus stop. I feel like that'd be fun. Ooh. The noodle stand looks like it's just a place to buy stuff. I think it is the um, store. Yeah, I think mm. so too. You know what? Why would I be helpful when I could just go to the car? <laughs> <laughs> uh where would you like to go? I'll go to the info stand. Okay. Where are you go? Mm. You gonna talk like to Polly and, and Scott? <laughs> the it's... car is where you can manage your road trip by accessing one of the two mini booths. You can choose to be a careful planner and gain plus one of your lowest resource and lose minus one of your highest resource. Or you can be a risky traveler and gain plus one of your highest resources at the cost of minus one of your lowest resources. Dangerous. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so, okay. What's it gonna be, champ? What's it gonna be, champ? Ooh, uh, I think we should be cautious. You wanna be cautious? I think, be cautious. I think. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I be cautious or risky? Well, we do need to get 25 of at least one of these abilities. To... And all of the then lowest we... ones are 8, so... Yeah. So Is that really a big deal? Because then we would get 15 into mind. Mm -hmm. That is true. And we'd only be 10 it's away. Risky. Okay, it took away one of the magic. It's okay. This is the map info board, where you can do two things. You can check mm -hmm. a map. That shows three potential locations nearby. Choose a location to learn how to get there. This guarantees that that location will appear on your next turn. On the other hand, you can use the phone to call Hitchhike. When you visit the bus stop next week, the hitchhiker you called will be there. These two options are all about taking an extra step to secure an outcome you want, be it a location a so sorry, I think that definitely picked up that slurp. <laughs> That's um, okay. <laughs> uh, pick a location. Thank you for the lurk. I don't really know what the hitchhikers do, nor do I care, so pick a location. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. Dungeon? We got... Spa pet contest. Ooh. <laughs> please, sure, please hold your uh, pause. Go. Uh... <laughs> Um, what do the different ones do? Look at the bottom. I don't remember what those faces each are. So, plus okay, soul, soul, mind. Plus mind. Mind. Lose hype. Minus hype. Or plus hype. Plus hype. Ooh, that's a good question. I think pet contest for the funny pun. You know what the... Maybe. Okay. We will go to a pet contest. Welcome to the benches, where you can relax and talk with either Polly or Scott. The conversations you can hold with them are chill, narrative th treat, no choices to be made. 
you have enough conversations, you might score a date and being with one of them. Also, by having a conversation with Polly or Sky, you'll activate the Chaotic Energy passive effect, which will remain active for the following week. <clears throat> what does it do exactly? <clears throat> Find out for yourself. Find now, out next time on go make some small talk. You want to talk to Polly or Scott? Um, Polly's cute. Okay. What are you going to talk Polly about? Polly is cute. Her after party event. Oh, her interesting her inter cooking. cooking. Ooh. Something chill. Both very something good. Little... They're both pretty good. You know what? I like after party adventures. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, after parties kick serious ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I forgot I have to click. <clears throat> the sun starts rising, and then all of us creatures of the night start looking for a haven. You're super drunk, or hot, or neither, or both. Wandering direction is... Dire <laughs> Hold on, that's a hard word. Hold on, Same. guys. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Directionlessly in search of an after party. <laughs> How do you find one? There's no trick to it. You either know someone who. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the redeem. I got the mommy. Sorry, redeem. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the immediate stop. <laughs> So in my ears, I heard, Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> thank you, thank you for the redeem, Haas. <laughs> There's no trick to it. <laughs> you either know someone who has a place, or you just go with the flow. Like, literally. Once I was walking after leaving a nightclub, it was like 6 a.m., and I was quite drunk, not paying much attention to anything. But what I had in front of me. Suddenly, a random door opened. Nothing that strange. Just some people that were in front of me entering their house. So I did too. <laughs> <laughs> I too. I too enter random houses following people. Um, I had no plan. I just saw a door open and assumed I was going there too. Not realizing I didn't know any of these people. It happened to be an after party. When they realized I was sort of a party stowaway, they just welcomed me. Imagine that. This voice is gonna kill me. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, what I did was dumb AF. Entering random houses should always be a no no. At least it tells yeah. us. <laughs> right. But I guess sometimes you get lucky and strangers end up being actually nice we partied till noon and forged an actual nice lasting friendship and those strangers ended up being my good party buds summer macarena and cheese wow All beautiful right. names whoa friendship origin story <laughs> Did you hear your name? <laughs> right? Wild party nights can truly be full of wonders. <laughs> Join me sometime and I'll show you. Sounds like a plan. Polly spends the rest of the night sharing cool after party anecdotes with you. She surely lived afterlife to the fullest. Chaotic energy. Ooh. Whenever the prank masters go, hijinks ensue. Can you handle the consequences of their mess? Next week, all resources gain all resource gains and losses from events are increased by one. Hi Wong, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. This is the bus stop. You can either check for hitchhikers to pick up or have a conversation. One that's already riding with you. Conversations are a chill, narrative treat with no choices to be made. If you hold enough conversations with the same hitchhiker, you might score a date ending. Alright. Additionally, each time someone interacts with a hitchhiker, their passive effect is triggered. As you play, 
you'll learn what each character's passive effect does. Exciting. You can only have one hitchhiker at a time. If you pick up a new one, any prior hitchhiker will leave into the dark of the night. All right. Ooh. Oh, look, I can pick up. Okay. Oh my gosh, the lamb. It's, it's the lamb from the Cult of the Lamb. They are. So we can get Adrian, gain a lot of your lowest resources, and lose every other resource. Lose your two lowest resources in order to get, gain that amount of your highest resource. I think I'm gonna go with the lamb. Both of these I sound I agree with you. terrible, <laughs> but we're gonna go with the lamb. You invite the lamb to join your road trip. Sure! Wow, look at me! Following someone else for a change. <laughs> Follow the leader. The lamb knows very well that the flock must make sacrifices for their leader. You forfeit your two lowest resources in order to give that amount to your highest. Okay, so we're gonna have magic. Yeah, magic and money are down, down by one. Get ready to take on the road. Okay, so we don't do any of the discussions because there's just gonna be next okay let's go let's go we only need eight more of mind but we do probably want to get magic back so that we don't run out in the car yeah okay czar you're up hello Sorry, Hello? I've just returned. I, I had a raid, so I was muted. No, you're totally fine. Don't worry about it. Good night, Sharky. Good night. Oh my gosh, those okay. emotes are so cute. Oh my god, their name is The right. little shark. Shark bait. Shark bait. Ooh ha ha. Shark Ooh. Bait. Ooh -ha, -ha. Uh, pay your respects or don't. Ooh, that's crazy. So we either so we go to the graveyard or we go to uh Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios, yeah. Movie set. We get more hype if we go here. Now with 30% more CGI. Hmm. Hmm. I think we go to the movie set. Polly, I learned a new trick. No hands. Scott, not while you're driving. <laughs> That's something I would do. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I haven't done it. It scares my brother. It's so funny. No oh, God. Yeah. yeah, you know, you just put like your your knee to the steering wheel and you just pretend you're driving with yeah. your mind. Yeah. Exactly. You guys terrify me. I would never be a passenger for either of you. <laughs> well, my track record isn't that great at this point. <laughs> no. I've never been in an accident. Yeah. Me True. Like I said, my track record isn't that great right now. <laughs> Especially not for the number of curbs I've hit. No. Oh, no. oh, oh me too, actually. <laughs> Everyone at some point wonders what it's like to be a movie star. You still don't know what that's like. He's a tree. You're just a humble road tripper trespassing on a movie set. <laughs> but this might be the closest you will ever get to Hollywood. So make the most of it now. What do you do? Wong says stay off the sidewalk when Emo's driving. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. My, uh, it depends on my... how many points you're worth. True, true. <laughs> <laughs> my most common phrase while I'm driving is oopsie. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> I, I say sorry a lot when I'm driving. <laughs> no, I have really, really bad road rage, though. Ooh, like, see, really I bad. I'm pretty chill while I'm driving. I say the most toxic, out-of-pocket shit when people cut me off. <laughs> oh, no. I, it's worse I than did. Valorant. I get angry at driving as well, so. Yeah. Hey, uh, well, <laughs> I'll be the dedicated driver. <laughs> <laughs> as Probably long as for the best. Don't mind hitting curbs. <laughs> hey, it happened with me, so what's the big deal, you know? <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> Hey, wait a second. That event type sign looks new. Yeah, according to the travel guide, that sign means this is a quantities event. They work a lot like exchange events. We always lose and gain equal amounts of resources, and we have to guess which resources are tied to each option. The main difference is the amount of resources that are affected by each option differ. They can be affected a bit, some, or a fucking lot. 
Haha, -ha, you never swear. That's how the travel guide phrased it. <laughs> also, for everybody that has just come into the stream, um, I'm so sorry for my terrible country accent. I'm so sorry. No, it's good. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's amazing. Dang. So what this foul mouth travel guide basically says is that we can choose to play it safe or go bonkers. <laughs> you already know what mama would choose, Zara. <laughs> Woo! But this one is up to you, boo. Go for it. Ooh. Uh... Let's see. Get an autograph, pillage the set buffet, or become extras. Become extras is crazy. But it has that quantities thing, so. That's probably why it's crazy. <gasps> <laughs> I, I'm a tree! You all no, I'm a audition tree. to be extras. Scott is super hyped to audition in his tree cup. Whatever makes him happy. You're called into a room with the casting agent and a lizard man. <gasps> <laughs> I Wait. <laughs> you get to do it again. I, I do. Congratulations, Fuck. Trey. Okay. <laughs> tea time. I will. I will drink some tea. How, how do you do, fellow kids? I'm. Fuck, that's not the voice, is it? Or is it close? It's close it enough. It's right. close. It's close. <laughs> how do you do, fellow kids? I'm the junior director of Hiding in Plain Sight. It's important that all extras be able to camouflage with the crowd. That's definitely not the voice, but whatever. Hey, Counselor Fludge. You you brought your costume from home, too. Awesome. How'd you know it was me? I mean, good job, kids. You passed the test. The most important role of the extra is to blend in. And if you can do that, you've already, you're already an expert. <laughs> Ignore him. Sighs the cast agent. Security's tried to throw him out six times. <laughs> but he's got too many disguises. He keeps pretending. He said to Anyway. As you do. Why are you auditioning as a tree? You know this movie, Sid, is on Saturn, right? There are no trees. And even if there were, we could just CGI them in. Yeah, but I, I play a really good tree. Watch me act like I'm turning sun sunlight into food. <laughs> Guys, I think I'm killing it. <laughs> Not happen. I'll even quote the script. Man, I miss Earth and trees. Or, I would if trees hadn't gone extinct a hundred years ago. Ushering in a new era of no trees. Zero trees. Okay? Just then, the director walks in and gasps. Who is this beautiful tree man? You are my new muse. <laughs> we'll rewrite the entire script around this new pro tree. Again. Hell yeah, let's go, Scott. <laughs> the casting director's forehead hits the table. This is going well. Now it's time for you to audition. What part are you going for? Oh, what are you gonna go for? Ooh. You get three choices this time. Yeah. Mm, okay, so we have, you're not auditioning to be an extra, you're auditioning to be extra all day. This is Scott's time, and you're okay being in his shadow, be the shrub to his tree. Or, everyone's the protagonist of their own story, therefore, isn't everyone also the extra in someone else's story? Audition to be the juiciest extra of all, the lead role. Ooh. <laughs> do you go for the re lead role, or do you want to be a shrub? Oh, I s oh. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even get to say what I was going to say. <laughs> oh no, what were you going to say? I just noticed that each of the options had a different number of arrows. Oh yeah, that's why I chose that one. <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. Going Perfect. Big. Going big. No. Yeah, we course. have a lead actor already, says the cast agent. A weird proverb isn't going to make me want to recast. You can still be an extra. No, I refuse. <laughs> I got like one just line with the old that. man. You get to sit and start filming the Saturn Saloon shootout scene. This planet ain't big enough for the two of us, says the antagonist. Well, technically it is. Saturn is huge, but I'm going to shoot your ass anyway. Oh no, they're going to kill each other. 
Just like my father was mysteriously killed 18 years ago. <laughs> oh, no. oh, That's how next... I'd be dropping trauma on my friends, too. <laughs> Just saying. Next, you filmed the lovemaking scene where the protagonist bangs the femme fatale and an alien egg sack. Okay. okay. You're there too, because of reasons. <laughs> because of reasons. Just eating popcorn on the side. Isn't it? it reminds me of the love my father had for me before he disappeared. <laughs> oh, you mean this? Oh, you mean the six part two? Fun fact trees can have sex with themselves via po uh, pollination. I'll show you. Hey, yo. <laughs> Cut the director screams. Do not pollinate yourself. We aren't filming a porno, are we? No, no, definitely not. Are we? <laughs> oh God. Okay. <clears throat> Don't cut. It was just getting. It was just getting good. Here's a thought. What if the protagonist is Zara's father, and Zara went back in time and watched her own inception? Is the tree her father? Yeah. <laughs> Say, that's the kind of twist to put me above that asshole M. Night, M. Night. Salamander. <laughs> okay. Okay, that you asshole. You win. You can play the lead. Let's Hell fucking yeah. go. Woohoo! With her trusty sidekick and best bro Tree Scott by your side, right? I hope so. Scott better not lose his part. No! Nope. The no. producer said, I'm the only one allowed to rewrite the script. No. One more no. time before he slashes my tire. We're just adding Zare. No. Oh, okay. I'll just oh. wait in the car then. And I'm definitely not gonna cry or anything. Oh, I feel so. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh god! You lose minus four oh soul. God. Oh, we got a ton of money. No. Being the lead pays you even better than being an extra, so you gain plus four money. Hey, at least we got paid. Oh, that's true. Oh, a wedding. We either oh, get a there's wedding. A wedding. There's a wedding or a pet contest. God. Okay, uh, hover over both of them for me. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. So we got wedding. I now pronounce you wedding crashers, and then pet yeah, contest. The, oh. Yeah, they're both they they both have the same attributes. So yeah, but what's gonna uh, ooh, ooh. who's gonna get married and who's gonna be at the pet contest? Is the question. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I want to crash a wedding. We can crash a wedding if you want. I want to crash a wedding. And we'll go Let's there, go. Then. Map oh, waster. I want something to happen now. <laughs> okay, you, excuse me. Why would you me? chose what? a lo you chose a a location on the map board and then didn't go to it? Hey, I Polly, <laughs> look what time it is. Oh fuck yeah! Put the radio on, pumpkin. I want to destroy a wedding. That's a wild statement. Yeah, let's destroy a wedding. I object. Expositions, the radio show where our guests give narratively convenient road trip tips. Thank you. Thank you, Murphy. Mr. For Thompson, Mr. McCarthy, what can you tell us about the mysterious resource known as stamina? Ah, stamina. The fuel of your bo our bodies. Yum. Getting stamina up is simple. Eat stuff, stay hydrated, get some rest. This is important since arduous t activities such as exercising or having intercourse will eat up your stamina. Yeah, well. Well, yep. darn. Throwing your food away or using it in ways that don't involve eating, it will also lower your stamina. Cormac, something that you said about stamina reminded me of mine. It takes an experienced road tripper to differentiate how resting raises your stamina. But relaxing raises your mind. You're spot on, Hunter. A strong, relaxed mind can save you from succumbing to road madness. And what to the, and what to this day I suspect is an ancient deity preying on mortals' psyches. Relaxing and finding enlightenment will keep your mind up. 
and so will strengthening your brain by learning new things. But if you overtax your brain, you may actually risk lose it, lowering your mind. Anything that strains your brain can result in mind loss, from trying to comprehend the incomprehensible to getting in anxiety-inducing situations. You betcha, says the radio host. Even thinking a lot for too long, like myself, after this very edifying rumination. Which is why we'll stop this episode right here. Cormac S. Thompson and Hunter McCarthy. Ever <laughs> Thompson and McCarthy, am I right? No, I have no idea what you mean by that, Scott. <laughs> Me neither, Polly. Me neither. No thoughts, head empty. Ah, wedding. The union of two or more soulmates. Pledging life to each other for the rest of their days. If you believe in that true love stuff, if not, at least weddings are a fun place to dress fancy and get drunk. <laughs> there are also fun to crash. Aw, look at them. Which is what you're doing right now. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Mm. Speak now or forever uh... hold your peace. Catch the bridal bouquet or talk to the runaway bride. Ooh, obviously I want to catch the bouquet. What do you mean? Let's go. It's time for the bouquet toss. You've been training your entire life for this moment. Ooh, they look good. Damn. Okay. I love that dress. Mm. I'd wear that dress. Me too. Me too. <laughs> well, sheesh. sheesh. <clears throat> Damn, Pumpkin, you really want that bouquet. Let me guess, you're anxious to find that special someone and do the do. <laughs> and here I thought you left your horny ways behind after the monster prom. <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <What? laughs> nope. You're Pumpkin. Horny for life. <laughs> Only because I said so. Which means you need to catch that friggin' bouquet. One sec, I gotta delete a message. There we go. <laughs> is it one of them bot messages? Oh, yeah. I don't oh, get no. it. What does oh, yeah. catching a bouquet of flowers have to do with finding love? Wait, before I read this, Scott has a snazzy tie going on right now. I like, mm -hmm. I want, I want Scott's fit. I, I would love that. Yeah, it's a good fit. It's a real good fit. It is a good fit. All right. <clears throat> Catching the bride's bouquet is a tradition. Whoever catches it supposedly will supposedly get married next. It's nonsense, but it's fun nonsense. It sounds cool. I've always wanted to have a hobby that combined romance and full contact sports. <laughs> <laughs> I just like how chaotic the whole thing is. Everybody's throwing down to catch some flowers because they really want a bone. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm rooting for you, Pumpkin. Don't be afraid to tear a bitch's hair out to get that bouquet. Tear I'm not afraid. Hair out. I'll do it. <laughs> Shit. Pressure's really on. Now. Not only to catch the bouquet, but to impress your friends, too. You'll need a foolproof plan to snatch those flowers. Think of something. I saw something one time that said that I want somebody to throw a bouquet at my funeral to see who dies next, and I live for that. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I love it. Uh, okay. They do that joke in a Futurama episode. Oh my oh. god. Yeah. They do a. Planted tracker. Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say they do like a fake Bender funeral because he wants to die. I guess I don't know. He, in oh, the episode, that. he wants to be remembered, and then someone throws like a bouquet and it lands on Professor Farmsworth, <laughs> and he, they're all like, "Oh, I guess who we ha know whose next funeral we're going to." Oh God. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Plan to track around the bouquet so you never lose sight of it. Those flowers aren't going anywhere. Or don't leave anything to chance. It's time to spend wish number one from the monkey's pot. Asked to catch that goddamn bouquet. Okay. Uh, the, the second one. The second one. All right. Why were you so oh, shocked? Yeah, right? Well, because it's a monkey paw that usually is bad. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to get to catch the bouquet, probably. We can find out. 
<laughs> we find out. <laughs> yes. Remember that time you got a monkey's paw from a creepy old man in a dark magic shop? No? Well, <laughs> that's the flashbacks. You happened upon the shop while you were walking to a supermarket to satisfy your late night cheese doodling noodles craving. Hell yeah. Fair. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> who who voiced last time? I forgot. Was it you or me? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> I, who voiced the last uh, new character, Daru? Me or you? I forgot. Oh, it was you. You voiced the community yeah, man. Okay, then you got this, man. Let's... I've got something better than snack food. I've got highly dangerous magical artifacts. What's that? Like this monkey's paw. Oh. <laughs> interested hello raiders thank you thank totally. you for the raid like hi a12 flames thank you so much for the raid no. thank you thank you my name is trayvon one sorry i nightbots being emerges. weird i need to fix that you know i'm so sorry it's getting mad about emotes uh <laughs> sorry about that i'm gonna fix it yeah. i know i need to fix it i only just set it up today like literally an hour ago so i'm sorry um but hello raiders thank you for uh for joining hello more important than my snack thank you so much for the raid a12 flames i really appreciate it we're playing uh monster prom 3 the uh the road trip one and uh we're just trying to get a fun ending i guess but uh hello to no real meeting uh nice. my name is oh wait sorry i gotta speak real quick uh wouldn't it make more sense for pumpkin to just wish on the paw to get married if that's what she wants anyway <laughs> damn Wait, who's riz royalty oh definitely me <laughs> oh did that not register Wait, Oopsie. Scotty. this is a waste of time trying to get pumpkin to do things the logical way but thank you Facts, so much Facts. for the raid my name is Trebod one i'm a scientist vtuber i uh i'm uh, also just a variety streamer and i do movies tvs shows Ooh, we just lost a lot of magic and uh but i also just play a variety of different games so thank you so much for the raid i really appreciate it i just gotta get back because we got a lot of talking to do all right i'm back sorry about that and catch the bouquet you gain plus three height just to be thankful smart, or just be thankful smarts, is not a stat you need in this game. <laughs> just call me stupid. <laughs> okay, we really need a gas yeah, station. Oh, yeah. pee real quick, so I will be back. Cool okay, cool. <laughs> or a gift. Do whatever we can to get some magic. We have to spend money if we go to the gift shop. Yes, of course. Get get some water, lurk, do whatever you need to. Thank you so Honestly, much. And yes, we're gonna try and riz some monsters. If one of them gives you uh, magic, <laughs> yeah, we need whatever <laughs> we can with magic. That up a little bit. Is this, is this plus money or minus money? Or so yeah, none of them I mean, are hype or stamina. Soul. Soul. None of them are a guarantee for money or for magic. All right, we're going to the, secl the secluded village. Okay. No, but I go on trips sometimes, usually to kill my enemies. Usually to kill my enemies, crazy. I need my mouse real quick. I just want to make sure. This entire city. I'm muted. I'm stupid. Impenetrable wall. Straight. I just realized I was probably muted on the wrong time. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you mean, I, yeah. No, I I, I muted what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wrong. Sorry about Can't that. See. Just a surprise to see you. As uh, you are to see them. We've never had visitors before, they said. How did you escape the jaws of the ravenous giant? You don't really know what they're talking about. You get the impression these villagers don't get out much. Some further investigation. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. You want to check out. Thank you so much for the follow, A12 Flames. Thank you, thank you. I very much appreciate it. Sorry, the sound are a little bit quiet. The game is also very loud. I was not following. It's all good. It's all good. Thank you for the follow. I guess I'll choose this since we have a lot of hype. The elders. You find the capital building and walk inside. Looks like the village elders are in the middle of a meeting. 
Howdy neighbors, I'm Scott. My friends and I are from the outside world, but don't worry, we come in peace. What? The elders cry. But how can this be? The giants killed all the outsiders and destroyed all civilization outside it, of our wall. Is this attack on Titan? <laughs> <laughs> nope. We're just living proof that that didn't happen. If you'll pardon the expression. No, it's true. The giants are out there. Look, here they come to attack us now. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> it is attack on Titan. It's attack on Titan. <laughs> It's wall Maria, baby. <laughs> oh my god. You look over the wall to see a cardboard cutout of a giant with a pre recorded roaring sound playing on a loop. <clears throat> How stupid do you think we are? Oh, Scott's gonna be leave it. Let's go. <laughs> it's the giants! <laughs> Run for the light for your lives! I knew it. Not now, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> We love Scott. No, Scott is so the giants great. Are, they're totally... Oh, fuck it. Fine. You got us. The giants are an elaborate lie. You see, decades ago, when we were young rascals, we conceived the best prank we could pull on our entire village. We made some scary cardboard cutouts and convinced everyone that we were under attack by ravenous giants. Now... We've been per perpetuating the prank for decades. Forever committed to the bit. You gotta be oh, committed see, to the bit. We are the prank masters with a Z. What? But we're the prank masters with a Z. You are. How did you young outsiders take the prank masters mantle? We pull out pretty planks. We made it up because pranks kick ass duh but now that i think about it polly didn't we get the idea for the name prank masters when we found those old papers full of cool prank ideas <clears throat> oh yeah i forgot all about that but i was pretty drunk at the time and also now <laughs> of course she is <laughs> you must have found the prank master scrolls Say the elders. <laughs> Say the elders. Say the we elders. We found them. We found them too many years ago. It's the legacy of the Brinkmasters. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> You're fine. <clears throat> I got this. Wow. Two generations of Prankmasters brought together by total chaotic coincidence. <laughs> you know what this means, right? We need to combine the Prank Master's chapters and brainstorm an even cooler prank to play on this village. You're right. This could be the most important prank we've ever pulled. What should we do? <clears throat> Ooh. Giants have been defeated. They've been turned into cardboard by God. Who's this bowl of lettuce? Abide by the lettuce gods. Is, is that is that code for weed? Um, probably <laughs> lettuce gods. <laughs> Everyone, the time has game. changed forever. <laughs> One hour ahead for no good reason. This is just real life. <laughs> at least, <laughs> at least twice, and we you almost all get used to it. Um, lettuce god sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Yes, a oh, god, I can't even keep up the voice, you guys. It's so bad. You got it, you got it. <clears throat> it's okay, it's Faith been pretty religion consistent. pranks are so funny. Everyone's all, no, how could you shatter my worldview? Such a classic. Here, bros, you can use our lettuce for, their, for this prank. You'll put it, uh... You'll put it to much better use than we, we would have. Hey, that lettuce was for my salad. It's okay, Ooh. Daru. You don't need it. Minus three stamina is temporary. Pranks are forever. Is it temporary, though? We could die. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning, the giants show up again. The, village, the villagers are all screaming and fleeing like usual. But the... <laughs> 
<laughs> do a, a, what? what? Who is wants to salad voice? Who wants to voice the salad? <laughs> salad even sound like <laughs> go ahead emo i believe in you you Me? got this emo yeah, yeah you got this yeah, yeah you got this you got this um <laughs> fear not puny mortals let us god is here to save you <laughs> i love it <laughs> <laughs> oh boy lettuce god is here in the leafy flesh i love and worship you so hard bro <laughs> well hey go lettuce god you the shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did a shit. Um. Seriously, this is ridiculous. The villagers protest. A talking bowl of lettuce isn't going to save us from these beasts. You dare underestimate me, mortals? Then I will prove my power by kicking these giants' asses. <laughs> lettuce God proceeds to kick the giants' asses. That's funny. As let us As I should. was afraid it was going to be too high pitched for my mic to pick up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and by that, I mean that the elder prank master, puppeting Lettuce God, throws the lettuce bowl as hard as he can at the giant's face. The giant falls flat. Holy shit! The villagers <laughs> marvel. That bowl of lettuce turned the giant into a cardboard cutout just by touching it. You're welcome for saving your puny lives. I ask nothing in return besides your unconditional worship forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that's a little sudden. Can we think about it? You dare talk back to Lettuce God? You've seen my power bow to me! If you refuse, I'll subject you to the soggy, disposable, one-dimensional horror of being a cardboard cutout. <laughs> Terrified, the villagers fall to their knees and bow. Many of them are sobbing. Okay. Meanwhile, you, Polly, and Scott, high five over a prank we pulled. You gain three height. You should have sh shapeshifted into a dead guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, let's see. Soul. We I'm need magic. Okay. okay. I also need to go to the bathroom. Go at different intervals. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Zara, oh, Emo, you got this. Just... I gotta go to the bathroom, too. Alright. We got what? We got what? Does he want what? us to choose? I don't know. Uh, we could just we could just have a little chatty chat. No, I just talk. A chatty chat. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's too much pressure. Too much pressure. I don't know. What do you want to chatty chat about? Ooh. Uh, are you excited for the new year? Hmm, see, that's a good question because there's two sides of this coin. <laughs> okay, right, okay, right? Let's hear it. New year, fresh start. Upside. Mm -hmm, exactly. Um, another fucking year, man. <laughs> oh, God. I feel that. It's sort of a little bit of existential dread, but also, like, yeah, it's a new year, new possibilities. Like, if the years keep going as they have in the past few years, I'm not excited. <laughs> All right. But, you know, what I'm excited about is that. I have a lot of stuff planned for the coming year, and I'm just like, there's a lot. There's a lot that I have planned, and like even more that I know like we haven't even talked about, because we've only talked about a few things that I've had planned, things that I like need help planning. Yeah. But I, I have too many ideas in my head. I mean, even like not even just streaming, but like our podcast and like moving yeah. in together. There's just so yes. much that's about to happen. I know, and it's wild. Like it's all gonna happen within a year. Like it's right? it's a lot. Like Christmas uh, next year, we're gonna be spending together. Like that's crazy I to me. Know. Yes, I can't wait for the cookie baking stream. It's gonna. Oh my be god, good. yes, we love cookies <laughs> and cookie worry, baking streams. I you. I'm really good at baking and cooking. Yeah. Actually, I'm good at both. <laughs> I I'll be your sous chef because. Okay. The number of things that I've set on fire. You know what? The only thing I've ever made successfully is pumpkin pie and cheesecake. Everything else, I've fucking burned. I made mac and cheese really oh good once, God. too. I can make okay. bomb-ass mac and cheese. Well, you know what? I will give you the task that will not end up in us having gross or burnt things. I'm See, just... <laughs> See we c even if we don't burn the food, I most likely will burn myself. I'm back. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, you're Welcome not going to be allowed anywhere near the stove okay. or the oven. 
Well, that tracks. That that's that's the rule here too. So we need <laughs> we need magic. Damn. I think if we go to the factory, we, since it has two random, we might be able to find some magic. Time. Isn't oh it cool God. how nothing ever happens on the road? Ooh. A fucking course. Can I say my pun before we uh, continue? Yeah, do I it. Mean, you're, it's your line next time. anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I think that Daru and Emo have both heard this pun already today, but mm -hmm. it's funny. I saw this while I was out shopping. It was so cute. And it's, what did the salt shaker say to the pepper shaker during the holidays? What? What? Seasonings, greetings. <laughs> <laughs> My friend also enjoyed it because she heard me listen to it. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah my coworker one. heard it. <laughs> I was like, there's a voice message. I'll play it later. And she goes, nah. Now. And I was like, okay. <laughs> They're getting my content for free. Let's go. <laughs> oh, honestly, they really are. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. <clears throat> Scott, fuck. Turn the radio on. Convenient exposition has started. Oh, convenient exposition has started already. We can't miss it. Roger. Mr. Thompson, what are you going to tell us about hype again? Yes, let me repeat. Anything that makes you rejoice to your core and w will get you your hype up. That includes laughing out loud, doing thrill-seeking stuff, or going to town. If you know what I mean, wink. I like keeping my hype strong and vigorous. That's why I avoid all the stuff that will lower my hype. Like doing boring stuff, mingling with dull or annoying people, or choosing mundane solutions over epic ones. Amen. Speaking of boring stuff, you know what else is boring? <laughs> Being a good person. Yeah, you know, it's so boring. <laughs> Fuck, you felt that. <laughs> <laughs> But sometimes you need to be if you want to keep your soul up. Ugh, oh, yeah, why do we need, need to have souls anyway? Beats me. At least soul is quite easy to manage. Doing good deeds, soul up, being your worst self, soul down. So remember, kids. Don't estimate the power of helping strangers while you're on the road. You've got to keep your soul healthy and clean. And Sweet overrated. Soul. Amazing. <laughs> Simply amazing. Your tips have been extremely helpful and incredibly expositive. You've provided a great tutorial for anyone who aims to have a successful road. Cormac S. Thompson and Hunter McCarthy. Yeah. <laughs> the cutout applause is probably the best part of that whole thing. <laughs> Whoa, Polly. I think I've grown as a person. Yeah, yeah. Cormac, it, Cormac S. Thompson and Hunter McCarthy are part of the family from now on. A toast to convenient exposition. Okay, so I don't know if we... Hooray! I don't know if we'll have convenient exposition again, since we know oh, all no. of them now. Factories are ruled by long hours, hard physical labor, and the crushing weight of capitalism on everyone's shoulders. <laughs> it's obviously the perfect place for you to have fun cause a little chaos. There are rows upon rows of conveyor belts staffed by workers assembling something. How do you participate? Okay. We could test a product or work. I'm going to either do test a product or work a machine. Being an asshole really shakes up the boring nature well, of being good is a crazy statement. Let's, I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Let's work a machine. Uh, as yeah, long as it's not it. magic that, that we're depleting at any point yeah, here, I'm, we're Gucci. I'm, ho I'm hoping yeah. to get magic out of this. You approach I mean, the foreman sense, you know. and asks if you and your friends could work at the factory for a day. For just one day, he asks. I mean, <laughs> that's not really how employment contracts work. He's how do they point. how do they work then? They work well I don't know. Now that I think <laughs> about it, half our employees are in uh, draconian contracts with nonsensical clauses and have half no contract at all. Y you know what? Fuck it. Some of my guys called in today anyway. You can fill in, bro. Cool. Is there any sort of training we need to, to... <laughs> 
Ooh, that sentence was hard. Hold on, let me redo that. <clears throat> <laughs> cool. Is there any sort of training we need to do to operate the equipment properly? Nah. You'll just be screwing... Screw... Three... Uh, okay, I don't know why saying that word twice. <laughs> You'll just be screwing screw 3D into panel A for 8 to 12 hours. That is hard. Got it. It's hard so, on your mind. <laughs> what's your company's position on office romances? What's the policy on sharing company-related memes? <laughs> As one does. What's your policy on fucking and memes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The two most important things here. Duh. Is there a group chat for all the employees? Are there any rules you on using lewd emojis? As one does. What? We, we don't have policies for any of that stuff. Our employees almost n never talk to each other. I could probably only name like three of the 300 guys on the floor. <clears throat> good to know. <laughs> that was not a country accent. No, that was good. <laughs> no, it actually wasn't bad. Like, it it, was I very, think it definitely it sounds well. worse to you than yeah. it does okay, to okay. us. No, it's it sounds good. good. In our it words. is very consistent. Right. What's your brand philosophy? What's your policy on being the spiciest meme lord? Exactly. <laughs> what is your Brand spaghetti policy? Uh, the, does screw screw 3D into panel A for 8 to 12 hours count as philosophy? Yeah. It works for you. <laughs> you you uh, sidle up to start screwing screw 3B into panel A for 8 to 12 hours. What could be more fun? After about 15 minutes, you realize that Anything, anything would be more fun than doing this. Luckily, since there's no contract at work here, it's up to you to decide how hard to work today. So, how much are you committing to this torture? Okay, so we know relaxing, it gives us magic. So let's see if we got anything. Oof, what if you just bribe the dude next to you to assemble both screws 3B and 4B into Panalea while you play solitaire? Just work, damn it. No jokes here. We the writers always work for uh for you to have fun. Today you work and we play. Work forever. Work until life looks like a panel A that ought to be solved by assembling. We're going to choose this one. Because this one sounds like we're relaxing. Maybe we'll get some magic out of it. <laughs> hey, it's not like you're compromising here. Solitaire fucking sucks. But at the end of the day, <laughs> it's what people play at work, right? The guy next to you agrees to the bribe. He does your work while you play the most exciting games of solitaire of your life. You thought you were gonna lose that first game when you couldn't find the eight of clubs, but you saved it when you finally moved the five of diamonds aside. You later mixed things up by drawing three cards at a time instead of one. It really raised the difficulty oh. level, but you yeah. mastered it soon enough. Really zany. Then there was that time you shuffled the cards between games and somehow got the exact same card order. The probability of that is uh, happening is 0.000000002%. It's only slightly more likely to happen than you getting a date this Friday. <laughs> Fuck! You don't have to be that. It's true, but why do you have to be that Let's mean? Go. Jesus. Okay, we got more hype. <laughs> When your shift ends, you've gained plus two height from playing solitaire. Huh, working isn't so hard. People should stop complaining so much and start getting better at solitaire. Absolutely not. You meet back up with your friends. How much money have you made between the three of you? <clears throat> oh my god. We might lose money. <laughs> oh no. What so should I do? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I read that. I'm just like, why? Okay. <clears throat> Wait, we were supposed to make money? I spent my entire paycheck on these cute company coveralls. Whoops. Yep, click it. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't pay me because I accidentally ate all the screws. Aww. <laughs> Oh, Poor Scott. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. We had we had, a, we had eleven. You actually we had... lost plus or minus two money because it turns out 
You bribed that guy more than a day's wage. Now, no wonder he was so eager to accept. <laughs> yeah, no, no wonder. Oh well, at least you got to play solitaire all day. Why is the that a good card thing? game? The lonely loser. I can't pay attention to solitaire. It's so freaking boring. Right. <laughs> So okay. like when the cards start flying yeah. across the screen. Now the question their honeys. Do do we do So or do we all just go to the car so we can get our magic up? <laughs> oh, you know that's smart. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and put me in the car. Okay. Um you that's could okay, also me. put me in the car, yeah. Working. Okay. Also, I think Daru is the only one that has rizzed um any any characters, so yeah. It's not going that great. <laughs> I'm not here to riz characters. I'm here to have a well, bomb ass road trip. We're all here to. Hello, Marshy. Hello. Welcome in. Marshy is a cute ass name. So we're doing Cautious Planner, right? Marshy's a great name. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. I'm assuming Still we're 17. just all doing it. All right. I'm doing. I'm assuming we're just all doing it. Sorry. I was just going to just. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hit. I made Dara's decision. I'm sorry, Dara. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Dara doesn't get a say. <laughs> All right, we're we have nine to go with hype. We're close with hype and that mind, so like. Accurate, actually. I think we should try and go three. for hype personally. We I think it's that. gonna be a more fun of an outcome. Personally. Okay. Yeah. So. That me okay, we got some hype. We can go to the Roadside Wig Museum. A museum full oh of God. capillary wonders. Is this the fuck what is it? Sun Dome from Simpsons? Or we can go to the shopping mall. Hanging in mall shopping malls, the eighties are back, baby. Now, nah, if we're going for hype, we might as well get there. Can we stop? I saw a tree I need to chop down. Again? Again? <laughs> uh see two with my boyfriend who screamed like I never heard before. Damn. Yo. Yo, he screamed? He screamed? <laughs> With every color, shape, and style, from Afro to Updo, are on display here. What is Updo? And what's Up, dog? Knew there was such a rich history <laughs> to artificial hair. There are plenty of things to check out at the museum. You decide to. Okay. What? Well, we could just do. If we're going for hype, I might as well just click hype. Okay. I don't even know what it said. Friends attend the kids tour instead of checking out any of the more age appropriate options. I yeah, f know. fuck you. That tracks, honestly. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hiya, kids, says the tour guide. Today we're learning about the wonderful world of wigs. If you answer my questions right during the tour, you get a gold star. <gasps> gold stars. Woohoo, gold stars. I love positive reinforcement that makes me feel smart. It's cause you, too, Scott, that's because you are so sm smart, Scott. <laughs> Look at this wig. It's an Egyptian pharaoh's wig from thousands of years ago. Does anyone know why the Egyptians wore wigs? <clears throat> to avoid sunburn, insect bites, and male pattern baldness. <laughs> Damn. Says it right here on the sign, dum dum. Man, this competition is easy. <laughs> yeah, wipe the floor with these kids. At least she's not cussing. <laughs> it isn't a competition, but fine. Here's your gold star. <laughs> now look at this wig, kids. It was worn by a judge in the UK. Can anyone tell me the fastest way to become a judge in the UK? Me, me, me. The fastest way to be a judge is to steal another man's powdered wig. We're going to win this, Polly. <laughs> the tour can Hell win. yeah. Polly did not Scott confirm nor deny. Stars, but by the end, tied with another participant. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> little fucking Bobby. Little Bobby. Little fucking Bobby. Scott, we got to take that whiz kit down if we want the grand prize. I take Bobby. back at least she didn't cuss because obviously that did not age well. <laughs> did not age <laughs> well. Did not, did not age well. Went no. back through the and tweets. That's the end of the tour, says the guy. Aren't wigs fascinating, kids? Who knows what wigs will be like in the future? Pick me, pick me. I think wigs will uh give people the ability to understand poetry. <laughs> Shut up, you two! The guide snapped. The tour is over. It was just a rhetorical question anyway. 
<laughs> rhetorical what question? Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> rhetorical, which means the question is worth double points. Trey, okay. help us answer the question right and kick Bobby's diapered ass. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. <laughs> You don't know the answer, because there is no answer. But there are no other ways to eliminate Bobby from the competition. Oh, there are other- oh, hell yeah. Plants- <laughs> <laughs> Plant some drugs in Bobby's pocket and frame him for doping for this competition. Bribe Bobby with the one thing his parents and the law have denied him all these years. A taxi, a taxi license. <laughs> oh no, we're fucking planting some drugs on this kid. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> You want to plant drugs on a toddler? Isn't that kind of... Fucking... We're... We gotta accuse this kid of doping. So sorry, so sorry. Okay, they're totally fine. Right. <clears throat> genius. It's genius. We must eliminate the little fucker by any means necessary. <laughs> These bicycle. two are exactly the kind of people I'd be friends with. Not gonna yeah, lie. I would yeah. love Scott. Hey, hey, no remorse for the children. No. <laughs> Sorry, hey, children. What are you doing in my son's pockets? <laughs> oh crap! I think it was the wrong choice. Oh, no. I don't think you were sleek enough. Slick enough. Jeez, such a stroke. <laughs> oh wait, no. <laughs> I'm fighting the war. I'm fighting on the front lines of the war on drugs, bitch. Look what I found. <laughs> I knew there was no way little Bobby was winning this competition without a little help. <laughs> you put it there. The mom accuses. How would a toddler even get his hands on acid? Oh my god. <laughs> Ma'am, why would anyone even dope with acid? The tour guide asks. <laughs> Expertly. Hallucinogens don't enhance performance. Well, sure do. duh. Bobby's a little kid. He doesn't know better. It's the intent that counts. Throw Bobby out of the competition. <laughs> There's no competition. These drugs are oh. obviously yours, ma'am. It I'm was the wrong choice. Oh, oh, no. This is bullshit. I hope you're fucking happy, Bobby. <laughs> fucking Bobby. You know what, Zara? This gives the same vibes as the fucking Mark shit from D&D. &D. <laughs> it does, it does. <laughs> I'll kill you in your fucking crib. <laughs> Do you feel smart with all your gold stars? I'll kill you in your fucking crib. <laughs> 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 we'll see how much your wig knowledge matters then. <laughs> We're just gonna kill a kid. You're all dragged out of the wedding. <laughs> Sorry we didn't win, Polly. I know it was really important to you. Oh, wait. Thank you, Oz. Thank you for the redeem. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my Murphy God. went, holy fuck, Zara. <laughs> The it wasn't me, it was the game, I swear. <laughs> nah, no, no. We, we know the truth. <laughs> I would have made those choices too, honestly. That's funny as shit. That is, yeah. <laughs> sure. <sighs> alright, alright. <clears throat> Don't worry, boo. That meltdown was all a distraction. I took. Look what I swiped on the way out. Was it the gold stickers? <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Gold oh, sheet of gold star her stickers out of her pocket. Woohoo! You lose minus two soul for the ruse, but gain plus two height. Ah, oh, that's fine. Look at that. We're... Let's go. Game? These teams are wild. Go. Is that a concert? <laughs> there is. Yo, Reeve in the desert. Can we get some soul or stamina Wait, and random. Stamina both. We're raven. A raven? Yeah. Whoa, is there an earthquake? Child drinking simulator is a wild statement. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you guys not think this was gonna end up with that? Yeah, right. Where us, do you think this is going? Us yeah, framing a kid young. with drugs? <laughs> Child drug accusation simulator. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And she should have checked her little kid's pockets better. True. Yeah, that's crazy. Exactly. In the middle of a desert, ravers and party goers have gathered to dance their cares away. 
you're drawn to some blurry figures in the crowd. Ethereal beings who look like they were made out of a party. As you behold them, you wonder, how should you milk the vibes of this raid? That's a crazy Ooh, statement. Is to milk the vibes? Oh, um, no, it's uh, not. they didn't believe us. We got kicked out, but um, Polly stole the gold star, so we're good. I that was the important part party twenty four seven might give us hype. I don't, but I that's just like a guess. This, this is gonna <laughs> give us hype. We're partying. Let's go. Fuck yeah! It's time to party. You're considering <laughs> where uh, where best to dance your ass off when three smiling spirits float up. Okay, I got you. I got you guys. <clears throat> Holy shit! Is that Polly? Good to see you. Welcome to the rave. OMG. Hey. <laughs> hey. Scott, Daru, meet my club and crew. Summer, Macarena, and Cheese. They're the uh, ghosts hey. of parties past. Oh, it's, the, it's from the story before. Hey, let's go. Okay, I'll do this one. <clears throat> oh, Scott and Daru. Polly talks about you all the time. It's so nice. She really loves you guys. Gosh, Polly is the best. She is. How is everything, girl? Are you liking the party so far? Tea time. I will drink tea. <clears throat> oh god, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. We were just deciding which DJ set to listen to first. I think this is you, Dara, right? You. I did the last one. That's a big question, Macarena. Summer. And I got that shit down to a science. Why is the guy of the group kind of cute? Okay, the facts. <laughs> <laughs> we put together a DJ schedule. We'll rotate methodically throughout the set so that we're always changing and curating our vibes. Vibing is, like, the best. We even scheduled visits to the bar and the bathroom, even though we don't actually have to use the bathroom anymore. It's part of the vibes. True, true. Of course. In like an hour, we're gonna get a bit too, or we're gonna be too blitzed to actually follow our schedule. And we'll probably just wind up wherever feels, uh, wherever feels right. Relatable. <laughs> <laughs> Which DJ are you scheduled to listen to now? Well, we just finished our scheduled mingle with other ravers time, so we're actually ahead of schedule. Cool. So we have an opening, don't we? Like, do some more ecstasy? <laughs> Marshy. <laughs> me too, me too, <clears throat> We can do that and hit another set. Do you guys have any preference for who we listen to next? Ooh. A dead slash mouse. If no D and J, the robo warlock trance DJs will put a spell on you, surrender to the groove, or dead slash mouse. Not, not a reference at all. A skillful no, French no. mouse that controls a, a funky corpse. By pulling its it's Ratatouille. The most fancy <laughs> dude. Hmm. These robots look kind of sick. Aw, oh, yes! I love the brain tickles. The fucking what? Okay, sorry. The brain tickles, come on. <laughs> Summer's night. This is a great choice. Hypno D and J can really bring an audience together, if you know what I mean. You don't, <laughs> but you're sure you're about to find out. You join the Wraith crowd. Air horns blare over the speaker, and a droning voice that says, All ale, hypno, and DJ. As soon as the beat drops, you start to feel tickled. Ticklish. <clears throat> wow, this is something. Am I the only one who feels like my brain's melting out of my ears? <laughs> <laughs> me, me when nah, my end. dude. This is what Hypno D and J is all about: inducing a true trance that brings the audience together. Don't resist it. Embrace the music. 
your brain merges with the rest of the crowd. And all of your thoughts co-mingling into one being. You can hear what everyone's thinking. I would, I can't believe this is my afterlife. How fucking lucky am I? Oh. Brain tickles. <laughs> <laughs> what is Scott gonna say? The set is legit. And the best part is, I'm pretty sure once it finishes, we won't be behind on the DJ schedule. Perfect planning. <laughs> he's not that's the best part <laughs> no he just thinks TV static noise sounds D you surrendered to the rave but oh. minus two mind but you also gain plus two magic that's fine we're going for hype anyway yeah exactly like alright really we got a gas so, station uh, Okay, and then weird landmark. Desert foot. Oh, that just looks like that's bad stuff all around. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Uh, futuristic gas station it is. Okay. Let's I read go. today is daddy. And that's how you play knuckle Ooh. bones. Cool. <laughs> I didn't understand a thing. <laughs> cool. Didn't understand a thing. Wait, who's this extra guest that we have? Did I miss something? Oh yeah, we got the lamb. We got the lamb, remember? Oh. Yeah, from the the. Oh, it must from the cult of the lamb. Or the bathroom. <laughs> oh, maybe. I might have. You pull into what you think is a gas station, but honestly, this could be a space station for all you know. Seriously. He got cold ice. Is high tech as hell. Do you even? Uh, do they even service regular vehicles? Well. Only one way to find out. What do you do? Uh. So we can get more magic, or we can go with the random. I don't know. I like the the the, the feel of random vibes. I'm gonna use the restrooms. Okay. That makes sense. You hit up the restroom to do your business. So for a minute, you think you've somehow wandered into the future. Future bathrooms. Future. Everything here is super high tech. It is if the bathroom designers ask themselves, what could bathrooms be? Instead of, what should bathrooms be? The commode looks like an Olympian throne designed by Alan Turning himself. You hesitantly sit on the screen that looks the most like a toilet seat. Thank you for choosing the smart toilet prime, says the toilet. The future of shitting is now. Cool. You explore the toilet's features. The lo-fi button provides a relaxing soundtrack to your poop. Important. Perfect. Important. <laughs> you press the hot meal option and receive a delicious burger. You choose not to wonder where the toilet stores these burgers. This is all quite amazing. Totally worth signing. Toilet of terms use. Statement and having your personal data gathered by the toilet. From your butt to the internet. <laughs> oh god. It's a bummer. <laughs> when... <laughs> oh You've God. shown a targeted ad for hemorrhoid cream. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. You <laughs> still rate the toilet five stars on what? When from targeted, oh god, it, it's all right. Finally. Hot girls have t uh, <laughs> stomach problems, so it's all good. Yeah, True. yeah, we all got IBS. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Oh god, sometimes <laughs> you pinch it off and you're ready to leave, but only then do you realize your grave mistake. This stall has no toilet paper. Oh, oh no, you desperately search the toilet for a bidet button, but no such luck. There are other buttons that might help, though. Which do you pick? Toilet cleanse, because the all caps are always a good sign on a smart toilet. No, they're not. Mega premium happy happy ass forever magical time, <laughs> because you cannot not press that button. Of course you don't press that button. What do you mean? You want that one? Okay. <laughs> yes. Your curiosity gets the better of you, and you press that button. Your toilet immediately descends into the floor. Oh, God. You've lowered oh, it to a okay. game set. <laughs> Your toilet is behind a colorful podium alongside other confused people also sitting on the toilet. 
Oh, Hello. No, he's, no. he's he's back. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Shittles, the game show where you answer riddles while taking a shit. I'm your host, the Interdimensional Prince. Contestant number one is Tanner Schmidt, a construction worker hailing all the way from a po porta potty in Utah. Here's your Shittle, Tanner. If today is four days before two days after Wednesday, what day comes two days before the day which comes three days after yesterday? Um, what? Look, man, I was just trying to take a dump. I need to get back to work. Wrong answer. The studio audience chants. Can it? Can it? Oh, God. Can <laughs> What? Tanner gets the can it. Just says you learn that you need to avoid losing and getting the can it. Contestant number two is Pumpkin, an old friend of mine. Answer your shittle correctly your f or face the cannon's wrath. What is my real name? What? I've never met this man in my life. I didn't play the first game. <laughs> you were, yeah, I guess you weren't there for the first one, right? It is not the interdimensional prince. Fuck. You, you take a shot in the dark and say Archibald Van Houten III. Is he a relative of Milthouse Van Houten from The Simpsons? You really think I could pull off the name Archibald? I'll take it! I would have also accepted my actual name, or your one true love. For your prize, you could take the free roll of toilet paper, or you could see what's behind door number two. The curiosity is tempting. But you really do need to wipe your ass and get going. You take the toilet paper. Probably good that they did not give me a choice because you got you guys know what I was well, gonna I choose. Would, I, I don't think any of us would have chosen the toilet no. paper. Then that defaults the number two prize to our last contestant. Laura Hor Horowitz, an insurance broker who is taking a dump in her in-laws beach house. Congratulations, Laura. Your special prize <laughs> is a lifetime supply of rabid weasels. Enjoy. Nice. You ascend back into your stall to the sound of a J-pop theme song and oh, Laura begging yeah. the weasels for <laughs> so oh, no. <laughs> You lost minus two money for but we got hype. toilet options. Hey, 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 plus two hype for go. your 15 minutes of fame. On we're, only, we're only five away. Five away for the hype. What can I say? You're no. very good. Although I seem to, I seem to lose the most right. money out of all of us. I think that should be um, worrisome. <laughs> cult headquarters. Okay. All right. Which is like no downsides. Yeah. Or we have. Or we could have the dungeon. dungeon. I feel like the uh, the cult matches our guest very well. Yeah, with the cult of the lamb. Yeah. yeah oh wait, it says yeah, got goats. This might actually be a special thing with him. Yeah, I, I should go for this one. Okay. I do too. The and they and they trip for three days straight. I gotta get me some of those mushrooms. <laughs> Are you really going to join a cult? I suppose they've got tea. I mean, yes. When you're laying like that on the tr the throne. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> all the dead goats you could ever want. Maybe fun ritual orgy. Oh yeah, you had me there. <laughs> You had me up. You can ignore ritual. all the murder and brainwash practices. It honestly sounds like fun. Where do you want to start? We got ritual sacrifice, initiation rites, or cult marketing meeting. We're pretty all right on everything, so whichever you feel like doing. Hmm. Um, wait, what does the pink one do again? Magic. Magic. Oh. I don't want to do the cult marketing meeting because I feel like it'll take away some of our hype. You you can do whatever one you feel like. I think ritual sacrifice is a good yeah, idea. Ritual sacrifice should thinking. be fine. When in doubt, uh, sacrifice your homies. True. <laughs> Want to join a cult? Eh, fuck it, I'm sold. Yeah, nothing better to do with my time. Look, if you're laying on the throne like that, yeah, I'll join your cult. Yeah. Count me in. 
you and your friends enter the cult's sacrificial chamber with all the optimism of the first characters to die in a horror movie. Check out this check out this holy pamphlet. The ritual sacrifices are completed to please Mahathra, the deity of sacred secrecy and darkness. Completing the sacrifice will give Mahathra Mah Mahathra's worshippers a taste of its exclusive magical powers. Cool! We can siphon some of that magic into the car afterwards. What if you're the sacrifice? I mean, shit, count me in. <laughs> <laughs> count me in. Hell yeah. I love a good old ritual sacrifice. Let's kill some goats and have a big kinky orgy in the pool of their blood. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Sheesh. <laughs> Look, look, I'm not all really for- what no, I'm not into, gonna say but... that. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that to myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little too much sorry, for right now. She, I'm so sorry. Who wants to- who's gonna be the cult leaders? <clears throat> oh god, okay, alright, I got this. You got this. Hold your horses, eager acolytes. You cannot simply wander into Mahathra's sacred halls and throw yourselves into a goat blood orgy right away. Oh, so that's an option. Okay. That Why is an not? Option. Because that's not what being in a cult is about. So many new cultists only care about the orgies without understanding their ceremonial implications. Wait, wait there's wait there's there another are... implication of this. I thought we just all liked to fuck, to fuck goats. I figured that was a different one speaking. Oh my god. <laughs> Only you do that, brother. Oh, fuck. <laughs> brother goat fuckle is male. And that's exactly why nobody wants to grind on you at the blood orgies anymore. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, um. <laughs> this is something. This one somehow is uh, much more everything than all of the other games that we've played of true, the monster problem. True, true. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we now have a proper sacrifice tier list that new cultists must complete in the correct order. It helps us weed out those who aren't truly committed, like those sacrilegious bastards that put their careers and loved ones above our dark cult. Scott, look Fine. at it. He's just so happy. We'll do it your way. The t this tier list says that we first have to sacrifice something of great personal value. Zara, what do you suggest? <laughs> Ooh. Uh... Hmm. Sacrifice your account on Dragon Heat so you like roleplaying. Wink. <laughs> the MMORPG in which you've sunk over 1,000 hours of gameplay. That's Damn. sacrifice. That's a big, big boy that is sacrifice. A big sacrifice. The, no, sacrifice that's eight. that's baby numbers. Come on. Pardon? Let's see, I don't ba have a thousand hours numbers. in a single game. Me either. Let's see. Sacrifice eight of the twenty-two subscriptions to interesting newsletters you may or may not ever read. Anyway. Mm. No, we'll do the thousand hours of gameplay. <clears throat> what? What does this say? Egad. 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 Mm -hmm. Egad. That truly is an enormous commitment. You're giving up more than 1,000 hours. Yep. Zara spent almost a lifetime playing Dragon Dragon Heat's massive multiplayer orgy filled rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, God. cool. So, so we got game. dragon fucking. <laughs> you know, I should have figured that's where this was going. I knew this is where it was going. Matra will be so pleased with this sacrifice. Our cult has actually lost several members to addictive MMORPGs. There's such an all-consuming time sink. One would think MMORPGs are a cult themselves. I mean, I mean you're not wrong. Can be. Yeah, they can. <laughs> yeah. You did get invited to do a lot of dragon cock worship. Oh my god. S slurp. <laughs> so that checks out. All hail the dragon cock. 
I just wanted to say that once. As you should. As you should. <laughs> you know what? It, that's, uh, it checks out, man. Checks out. <laughs> All right. I'm going to clip it and make it a sound alert now. As you absolutely <laughs> fucking should. That's hilarious. <clears throat> Let the sacrifice commence. Delete your account, Zara, and feel the power of the sacred secrecy coursing through your veins. <laughs> oh this my god. Adventures as Jister of the Kingdom underscore. Jister. <laughs> but now you get to have a night of unspeakable cultish pleasure in the real world. You delete your account and participate in the ritual, gaining plus two magic. Meanwhile, at the DH, uh, Sis oh, Sil RPW headquarters, executives Charlotte. are freaking out over the loss of your account. Damn, that's another longtime player lost, the CEO cried. Were the dragon cocks not enough? What did she list as her reason for leaving? Looks as she listed joining a cult as her reason, sir. Fuck! Then another follower of Real Lizard Ma Mag is gone. <laughs> Our recruitment numbers are getting dangerously low this month. Yes, sir. We are aware that the god of uttered abandonment whom we all worship, is displeased that so many are leaving their digital lives for their despised physical realm. What do we do? Brett's the CEO. Should we sacrifice another goat and have a blood orgy? They do. But it's not enough Aww. for ur Laz Omag to forgive them. For losing your account, it is cosmetically, uh, it, cosme it cosmically confiscates minus two hype from you. <sighs> All... We're still so close. All right. I don't need that shit. Oh my god. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> um. I mean, I can go. I'll go to the car this time. You guys can take the other three stuff. I might do risky though, since we are very close to twenty-five. Okay. I think that's a good idea. Okay. Uh, you guys can do the other thing. It's all good. Uh, I'm so, gonna go to the bus stop. You want the bus stop? Okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. You can try. You can go to info, and maybe we can find some place with hype. Ooh, true. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna do risky. Risk it for the biscuit, okay. as you would. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. We gotta be we gotta be careful on stamina. So. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see. Pick a location. Right there. There's hype. Ooh. No this heroes is, allowed. This is hype, right? No wait. That's magic. The per so the purple. Confused. Oh wait, that's mind. Oh, mind. Never mind. mind. Ooh, we need blue. All right. I would so say okay. Post apocalyptic. Post -apocalyptic. Yeah. Might have hype. Yeah. Because they... this is fucking metal. You would think. Yeah, I'm we just stamina though. We don't have very Ooh. much stamina no, no, at all. No, no, no. That's just one of the choices. This is yeah. one If we go with that one, yeah, we'll go with it. Why not? What do you want to do? So, do you want to talk to the lamb, or do you want to change hitchhiker? I want to change hitchhiker. I want to see what else there is. Okay, click change. Oh yeah. I can't. <laughs> Ooh, we either get hope or fin. You want fish uh, man I'm or? Kinda... Oh yeah, let's. We can read their things. Oh. You get a research. Resource gain and loss, copying the ones from your last location turn, which means we would lose hype and gain no. okay, what's hope? magic. For one week, every turn you'll lose magic and randomly gain Ooh. either money, mind, or hype. Well, obviously hope. Okay. Let's go. The oh. lamb left Bonk. the bar. You invited hope to join your road. Is she like the little sister to Joy? Oh, she kind of oh. looks like it, huh? Do you want me to voice Honestly. her, or do you want to voice her? Um. Oh God, I can't remember who all we voiced at this point. Um. I think you voiced last time. What's heavy, Mega? Uh, okay. So wait, you want me to? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Metal sounds painful. <laughs> sure, I'll come with you. You'll need a little more hope, a little hope on this road trip. Cute. And, and you're that's... definitely a little hope. <laughs> I find that offensive. 
<laughs> Don't push it. There we go. Okay, we got the, the witching, witching week. week. Magic can do many things, but for hope, it's mainly three. Doing business, having revealing visions, and making things explode. Nice. This week, every turn you'll lose minus one magic. And randomly gain either plus money, plus mind, or plus hype. Well, let's hope for the hype. Oh, Daru's first this time around. Damn. Five We're to go. We're almost there. We're almost there. This is so much different than the other ones. Oh, little hope. Oh, wait, we get the... Yeah, not funny. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, this one, like, looks hype. Merkin Dome Merkin. Outpost. Is this a farm? Or er, the farm, In English, yeah. but it's on his arc. Merkin that Outpost one. sounds lit. Don't take that route. My Oracle cards say there'll be traffic. I hear little hope. I think of the game. Oh god. I was thinking of that as well. In what appears to be a formal former aquarium, you see the Mer Kingdom flag flying from the roof. It seems the underwater monarchs have been expanding their territory. Well, no reason to not visit the tyrannical ocean overlord. What do you want to do? Tend to fancy ball. Watch an execution. God. What would be? What the do you think would raise our hype? hype? I know, right? <laughs> I think I think fancy balls probably soul. Um, okay, I have to say something before you click anything. Yeah. The tiny shrimp is the cutest fucking thing ever. It is cute <laughs> with the shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. I love okay. him. I hope one of us I gets to voice him. I think he'd have like a really no. tiny like voice. You know what I mean? Nah, he has the deepest voice imaginable. <laughs> Do you think uh, the war room is more hype than watching an execution? It might mm. be. I uh, watching a... an execution is pretty fucking hype. Not gonna I lie. Like I think an execution hype. would be more hype. I feel like the yeah. war room might be more um mind, mind. maybe. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Let's do an execution. You had me at execution. <laughs> it was the last thing I said. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the Mer Kingdom did daily executions in public, but it seems like they're shaking it up a bit this time. Welcome, peasants and prisoners, nobles and ne'er-do-wells, to this week's showing of Mer Kingdom's Got Talent, says an announcement. Oh. <clears throat> so the executions are like a talent show? Cool. The Mer Kingdom really knows how to make war crimes fun. Hell yeah. Let's meet our judges. <laughs> She's bubbly. And if I don't compliment it's her Miranda. hair, she'll have me beheaded. Give it up for the Princess Miranda Vanderbilt. Guys, I don't it's remember Miranda. the voice I did for Miranda. Were you Miranda? Oh, wait, no, I do. Or yeah, was it Hala? Okay. I was, yeah. Oh, wait, okay, I think. Greetings, underlings. Who's ready to see the cutest carnage this side of the ocean? She looks so pretty in her dress. Our next judge Wait. has a killer smile. And if that didn't kill you, her cleaver sure would. Introducing Princess Belanda Vanderbilt. Oh. Oh my oh, god. I'm Go interested. Ahead, we got this one in the oh, bag. it's oh. always the fucking Okay. <laughs> yes. Clap for me bottom feeders or I'll hunt you down, <laughs> your children and spill all their blood into their cribs. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I'm interested. <laughs> and now introducing our surprise guest judge. Make some noise for Daru! <laughs> Gee, oh. the Daru on stage sure looks a, like, like, a lot like our friend Daru. Nothing gets past you, bud. I didn't even know Daru would be a part of this. You didn't either. That's life, though. One minute, you're chilling. The next, you're on a panel of judges scoring execution technique. You watch contestant number one get viciously beheaded. You call that a guillotine? I've picked my teeth with blades sharper than that. Zero out of five starfish. Is it rated on starfish? Apparently. I loved that you wrote Miranda has pretty hair in the contestant's blood afterwards. I give you three out of five huzzas. Judge Daru, would you, how would you rate this execution? Who knows? You've never judged an execution before. And you don't even have a cool rating scale. 
What criteria do you use to judge the beheader? Daru, before we look at those, um, how would you rate an execution? An execution? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What would you be your rating scale, Daru? Um, let's see. One, it'd have to be like how brutal it was. Um, blood spatter is is like one of the biggest factors for sure. Yeah, for sure, for of sure. course, of Naturally. course. And then you know, and then and then sit up like that would those would definitely be like the three. Yeah. Things I'd be looking for. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. I just mentally hear dang and rampa music. Honestly, I know, right? Yeah, honestly, <laughs> like love. getting pelted to death by baseballs. Hell exactly. Yeah. Cool. I f I love dang and rampa. <laughs> So I just a bit nicer to... rating them on it. No. <laughs> Bonus points that there's audience participation. Audience participation? Why didn't we think of that? Let's do it. This has to be hype. Come on. Oh, yeah. Like... Yep. <laughs> we keep forgetting. Listen up, peasants. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 500. If anyone in the audience can guess it, I'll spare this prisoner's life. We're out of five soccer pants. Pick me. Pick me. I bet you're thinking of the number 501. Wrong. The prisoner dies. You better not kill Scott. <clears throat> For our next execution, we have three prisoners waiting to be hanged. But if you text the Mark Kingdom hotline now, you can vote to spare one of their lives. I'm voting for accused number two. He's got that dorky boy next door vibe that may that this execution needs to see more of. The votes are in, and it looks like accused number one and three are fucking dead. God, watching people die makes me feel so alive. <laughs> <laughs> I love this energy. Yeah, it's so great. Okay, for our last execution, let's get a volunteer from the audience to be the executioner. Look under your chairs, everyone. If you found the <laughs> if you found the bloody bat under your seat, you're the lucky winner who gets to club this treasonous diplomat to death. Oh hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, please don't make me. Begs the lucky winner. I don't want to club the diplomat to death. Don't be a party pooper, boo. Club the diplomat. Club the diplomat. <laughs> Everyone starts chanting. The winner succumbs to peer pressure and beats the diplomat to death while sobbing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Surprise, you lost a minus three soul for this, but you gained plus three hype for okay. engineering so much entertaining no. chaos. We're very low on soul now, but <laughs> hell, hell yeah, we we only need one more hype, guys. We need one option. more hype. <laughs> okay, Zara, what are you choosing? We're gonna, we gonna LARP or are we going to the metal or to the... Mad Max world. Ooh, I feel like we have to go to the post-apocalyptic settlement. I think, although... I, I feel as though LARP would also give us some hype, right? Yeah, the LARP is... True. I'd be chaotic good when you could be chaotic great. Great. Oh, absolutely. I'm sold. Dooby-doo, driving carelessly, carelessly, knowing nothing will happen. Nor. Oh. Or nor. You're driving along with Hope riding shotgun. When you glimpse something strange and unidentify uh, unidentifiable off in the distance. Whoa, what is that? We have to pull over and see. Yup, that seems totally reasonable. And you all get out of the car and walk a bit to find. <laughs> Three old men bathing <laughs> bathing each other in an antique washtub? <laughs> what? Now that's something. No, that's horrific. <laughs> I Sorry. got a visual. Hey! Oh. Hey! Can someone pass the soap? Ah, what? Shut up, damn it! OMG, these old men must be the Oracle. They're three wise seers who can answer our questions about the future. What? No, as a real seer, I'm offended, and as a practitioner of common sense, I'm super offended. These guys aren't oracles at all. No one in this group would survive a horror movie? Oh, absolutely oh, not. Oh, hell no. <laughs> nah. not. Fuck no. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, wise old dudes, are you seers who will answer any three questions we ask? No! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Sears, always speaking in riddles. Fucking, she looks I so love offended. Scott. I just wasted one of our questions. We only have two more. Scott, you ask one. Hmm, okay. Hey, Sears bros. <laughs> Will there be a math? Will there still be math in the future? Probably. <laughs> oh, nuts. Yeah, me too, Scott. Well, since Hope is a skeptical Sally, that means you get to ask the third question, Zara. Okay. Mm, ask the oracle to, oracle to look into a future they can surely see. Ask what it will be like to be an old person. Seek the oracle's endless knowledge. Ask how many people fit in the <laughs> top. <laughs> Which will you choose? Um, I feel ooh. as if you do the old person, we're going to lose our stamina. Yeah, no, no, I think we go into the tub. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that isn't even fortune telling. That's just using logic to reach a plausible conclusion. There's no <laughs> magic involved. Oh, then that's what they must be missing. I'll get them some magic from the car so they can use their powers. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. We had nine Scott magic. Pours minus three magic into the tub. If it wasn't weird enough that the monsters use magic to power their car, it apparently also doubles as bath salt. Oh, thanks, Sonny. That was kind of you. What were you asking about again? How many people could fit in here? Well, in my long life, I've learned that the best answers are gained through experience. <laughs> Let's find out how many <laughs> it can fit together. This honey Ooh, group bath in the desert? I'm in. Oh, look at he's all stressed up. Immediately changed. And get into the tub. Man, who would have thought bathing in the middle of nowhere could be so relaxing? Yep, life's full of simple pleasures like these. You learn to appreciate them when you get older. Well, someone hasn't learned that yet, apparently. <clears throat> Are you talking about me? I'm not getting in the bath with you guys and three strange old men. Oh, look, come on. Sometimes you have to go into the desert and take a bath with three strange men, right? Old men? Uh huh. Sure. Wait, no one else has had this experience? <laughs> you know, not yet. Okay, well, yet. fine. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so nice. And you seem stressed, Hope. What better for stress than a warm bath? I think she's just being prideful because she doesn't want to admit she was wrong about everything. <laughs> Ugh, it does look nice. Fine, I'll get in. But if you ever tell anyone about this, your only future will be one filled with pain. Yeah, whatever. Shut up and get in, girl. You spend oh, what? a while in the bath, gaining plus three stamina from your relaxed muscles, oh. and you learned that the tub can fit at least seven people. The more you know. Okay, right, now we're chat right now. <laughs> What is um, th what is their Marshy, <laughs> what's going on? Are you asking who everybody I'm streaming with is? Is hello, that what hello. you're asking right now? We can go through it. Everybody can introduce themselves quickly if you would like. If we could start with, uh, oh no, the characters in the game. Wait, wait, wait. You want to know who's playing which characters? I'm confused. I'm also confused. But I was, I'm also I was confused. referring to Murphy being a smartass. Yeah, <laughs> it's the least surprising Murphy thing. No, what are the characters' names? Oh, okay. Um, the wow. What are our characters' names? It's just our names. Just yeah, our it's names. just our names. I mean, um, there. I know the red one is Amira. I know the yellow one is Oz. Uh, I think uh, the zombie one is Brian. And then I don't remember the Frankenstein girl. It's probably like Frankie or something like that. <laughs> mm. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. This LARP is crawling with humans. 
real, actual human. That's weird. This must be one of those areas where the dimensional fabric between the human and monster realms is starting to tear. Strangely, the humans aren't screaming or grabbing pitchforks, which goes against all you know about their thoughts on monsters. Oh, think he's a tree again. Fellow humans dressed up for the LARP. Fine by you, their ignorance is your bliss. Since you're here, what LARP activity are you interested in trying? Okay. There what what do we see uh, is so lame. <laughs> that is literally GM so lame. is obviously gang, gang. best. I don't know, PvP is cool too. Gang gang. What, what would be pop, pop, pop. what would give us the most hype? GM only, or PvP. GM or PvP. <laughs> we're, we're about to kill somebody. <laughs> I think PvP might take our soul down though. It might. Ooh. So I would say GM personally. I was but whatever question. you want. What is GM? Uh, probably Game Master. It's like DM. R makes sense. Makes sense. Go with that one then. You arrive at the LARP, but it looks like the event hasn't started yet. Some props are strewn about, and you see the GM writing is um in his world building notebook. It's emo. <laughs> it's me. Ask where the bathrooms are. He takes one look at you, screams, <laughs> "Ah, real monsters!" and falls over. They're... They have some cool outfits. <laughs> Murphy's wild for that. What is Murphy doing? He said, "GM is Gorsh Mickey." <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! Gore, Gorsh Mickey. Gorsh Mickey. <laughs> oh, we gotta defeat the darkness. <laughs> Gorsh. Darkness. Sorry. Dark. Oh. Darkness. <laughs> Mickey. I lost the voice for a second. I need to come back to my brain. Okay. You're all good. You're all good. <laughs> all right. Oh, Marshy. I can't read my chat anymore for the second. <laughs> Never gonna yeah, be able to I mean, read this long. If you oh think about God, it, God, that's it says a wild little comment. pecker. <laughs> um, <Wait. laughs> um, yep, he's dead. Don't feel bad, Sarah. I would never <laughs> die just by looking at your face. Okay, well, it's because I'm cute as hell, so that's why. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I don't think it was the face, I think it was the fact that you're a monster, but you know, we're yeah, chilling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do we do, bros? The LARP is starting soon, and there's no Game Master to direct the event. Maybe we can fill in for him. The show must go on. Let's check his world building notes. These notes say the LARP has been taken over by an evil sorceress. So it's up to the LARPers to find the Sword of Justice and slay the... Yawn. I'm already asleep. Not to bash nerdy shit, but this is super played out nerdy shit. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing Zara killed that guy with her face. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have a chance to pro improve his setting. Zara, can you think of a twist we could add to the LARP to make things more unique? Micro transactions. Ooh. It's like a complex economy that relies on microtransactions. It's so popular in mobile games nowadays that it must be the thing players like the most, right? Oh, God. Uh, let's see. Introduce these people to the real adventure, a world where they must brace for an upcoming promo, attending a school where they do everything but learning. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Over the next few hours, you build some sets and get into costumes. Soon, the first LARPers arrive. God, there's so many characters. Wait, they look kind of funky. Dara, I think this is you. I love them. Um, I, I don't know. Is this, a, is this a girl or? I think so. Okay. Uh, I feel like that's a guy. Fancy bard? You'll do the fancy. I could do the vampire. What is that? Oh, okay. Uh, Here, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll voice this one. <clears throat> On guard, villains. My adventuring party and I are here to slay the evil sorceress. Prepare to fight. 
Nah, we're not doing that anymore. Now the LARP is all about being a student at a spooky academy where danger and horny... Where... Oh, God. Where danger and horniness abound. In this scenario, you're skipping class in the bathroom when a wild griffin appears. What do you do? I already forgot the voice I used for this. I use my greatsword to behead the beast. Actually, you can't. Your only two options are to turn the griffin into a wrapper or bake it into a pasta. Bake it into a pasta, huh? What? Bake it into a what? pasta. It's Italian. <laughs> Let's do the music one. Do do magic loot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking doot doot magic loot. <laughs> what a catchphrase. <laughs> right. Now, for this event, you need to throw a bunch of parties to discover the secret ingredient that makes all parties great. What do you do? Oh, um, I wouldn't even know where to start. I've never actually been invited to a party. Oh. Oh. Felt that. God damn, are you serious? That is so mean. Humans really are the real monsters, huh? Why are you saying that like you're something other than human? <laughs> <laughs> Moving blah, blah, blah. on. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Now you have to help your vampire friend become popular enough to be crowned prom king. R really? That sounds awesome. I I was never popular enough to be prom king back in the day. This is the f wildest fantasy ever. The LARPers have a great time cosplaying as people Guys. who were happy and popular in high school. You gain plus three height. We guys, we got it. Let's go. Let's go. We got it. This all reminds you that you learned nothing in school. Because you were too busy <laughs> being chaotic horny. You lose minus three mind from all these nonsensical scenarios you present. Okay. Let's go. We're running low on magic really and soul, so we gotta be careful. God. Okay, let's see. Do we go like... <sighs> we can get more soul. That That's probably our... I'm gonna go to the UFOs so we can get more. Holy, are we bad people? My soul feels empty. Oh, oh, Scott, no, you are not. <laughs> oh my god, that's the cutest little drawing ever. I love oh my it. god. Moo. Moo. Came here today to answer the age-old question. Do aliens exist? Yes. Who knows? If you'll see any today, but at least it'll be fun to hang out with the other <laughs> UFO spotters. So besides, so besides watch the stars and swap extraterrestrial conspiracy theories, what do you want to do? Okay. And we're gonna make tinfoiled hats. Let's get that soul up. We're not getting probed today. We're not getting probed today. So, we need the soul That's really badly. A huge gathering of UFO spotters. You see a lot of telescopes, constellation charts, and Jefferson airplane CDs going around. You also see Kale and Abdu. Sup, oh guys. God. I didn't know you all were in a UFO sighting. Hey, hey, bros. We're just on our road trip and decided to stop by. There are so many people with cool telescopes here. This guy's a nipple piercing. He does have a nipple piercing. He, he's, he, he also has a skateboard. Uh, also, kinda, sorry. I figured I was I doing agree, like... Zara. I wasn't going to say anything. No. He's kind of... <laughs> also, sorry. I figured I was doing the stoner guy, so... <laughs> That's not all they got. UFO spotters have surprisingly diverse interests. Want us to give you the ground tour? The grand tour? Over there, the IT crowd. They're the popular spotters. You know all the latest end of the world prophecy gossip. <laughs> There's nerds by the creek. Can test what chemicals the man is putting in the water. There's the chemtrail spotters, the alien abductee support groups, the vehicle enthusiasts who, kn who know all the different UFO types. Honestly, just embracing the chaotic horny. That's all that these games are, man. That's yeah. what I'm telling you. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. 
Oh, what about those shiny guys over there? Are they UFO cosplayers or something? Well, those are the to tinfoil hat fa uh, fashionistas. They know all the latest fashion trends and how to protect your thoughts. What are they protecting their thoughts from? From the government, of course. The fashionistas scoff. Do you really want a big brother in your head reprogramming all your thoughts? Oh no! I didn't even know I had a big brother, let alone that he was taking all my favorite thoughts away. I have so few to spare. Oh, Scott. It's okay, Scott. Don't listen to those well-dressed weirdos. Of all the shit the government might be doing, stealing your thoughts isn't one of them. <laughs> and even if they were, wrapping your head up like a burrito wouldn't do anything to stop it. But no, I'm nervous. You're making me nervous too, man. Uh, this anxiety is totally harsh in my buzz. Damn. If we don't calm Scott down, we're gonna have some paranoid stoners on our hands. Trey, can you help him protect his mind somehow? Oh yes, I can totally do that. If there are body bodyguards, <laughs> there must be also be mind guards for hire, right? Right. Protect your most <laughs> valuable thoughts by flooding your brain with tons of useless ones. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the mind guards. You look it up, and there are mind guards for hire. What are the odds? You can only afford the cheapest one, but it's okay. Uh, it's okay to cheap out on the guys protecting your thoughts and personality, right? Of course. You wire minus three money to a That's fine. account within moments. Two beefy Russian operatives parachute to the ground next to you. Is it Rostiva? Bless you. We're here to guard your mind from invaders. Please be calm. One of the mind guards starts massaging your head with one of those weird scalp massages while making guttural noises. You feel the same. Congratulations. Mind is secure. We leave now. <laughs> What? Th that's it? How do we know Trey didn't just get scammed? We never scam. We prove it. Trey, think numbers. One to five hundred. Now you, dogman, try to guess numbers. Yo, oh, man. I didn't know there was uh, going to be a test today. Um, uh, 274? That's it, Scott. I was thinking precisely 274. Good boy. You know... Damn. At least he guessed within the range this time. He did. Yeah. He did. <laughs> I, I was... Go is ahead. Why, go. Uh, is why we test run. Obviously not completely tuned. Should be collaboration now. Dogman, <laughs> guess again. Hmm. What about three? Nah, I was thinking 100, uh, 274 again. I was just too lazy to think of a new number. Perfect. Mind guarding functions perfectly now. <laughs> Just remember to clean earwax occasional, um, on occasional, and it should be fine. Farewell, comrade. <laughs> Congrats, Trey. Now your thoughts are safe from my weird older brother. I love that Scott just believes he has an older brother now. Definitely <laughs> just got scammed, but at least Scott is relieved. You gain plus three soul for putting his mind at ease. Let's go. Okay. Uh, we gotta be really careful with money and magic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, okay. I think this is the last decision, though, All right? right? We adorable have adorable village. village. And then Battle Royale. Battle Royale. Obviously, the adorable village. Look at it. You so I know, cute. It's so cute. <laughs> this is where I want to live. <laughs> Me too. It looks just like. Has animal anyone walking. seen my crystal ball? Wait, ball? Where? Crossing. Oh, it is animal. Yeah, it is. <gasps> <gasps> Wow. I love it. What a cute little village. All the inhabitants are adorable animals. Oh, God. oh Follow me, right the classy giraffe. Boston, the buff bluebird. Bernard, the shy capybara. And oh. the other one. We all have the other one on our island. <laughs> yeah. We all have yeah, the other one. My right. damn anteater. I'm trying to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> that. You can't wait to meet them all. What will you do? Okay. Oh. Uh, oh probably, 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 probably the money. Oh, 
We just can't yeah, lose magic. Yeah, I guess. Sure, sure, so, we'll, we'll catch bugs. Okay. Why not? Because if we lose magic, we can't... And she, Because she steals it, remember? <laughs> mm -hmm. You and your friends start wandering around the village, looking for cool bugs to add to your collection. Hey, look! It's some locals! Sup, bros? Do you know where the best bug-catching spots are? Well, bugs? No, thank you. They have too many legs. No one should have that many legs. <laughs> do you want to be fancy or do you want to be buff? Dar? I want to be the buff bird. Okay. But, Bernard, bug catching is a fundamental part of our culture. Without bug catching, there wouldn't be museums. Uh, but hey, if you guys are looking for bugs, you should ask that one weirdo that lives at the edge of the island. Yeah, not them. They're too creepy. Even creepier than bugs. Oh, <laughs> it's glitch. It's glitching out. Oh, oh my man, god! You. Who oh. wants to do the bun? Who wants to do the murder bunny? <laughs> I got you. You mean me? <laughs> yeah. How long have you been standing there? Two weeks. Okay, the sticky note's cute though. <laughs> the sticky note. Hello, I'm Scott. Your little friends here. Your little friends here. Not friends. Mentioned you know about bugs. We're trying to catch us some. There's some woods at the east end of the island. They're great for bug catching and corpse burying. I actually need to go there. <laughs> oh, you're catching bugs too. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love bugs, though. If you can catch anything especially special, I'd be down to give you some monies in exchange. I would... I hope that this bunny guy is like a hitchhiker you can pick up. Oh my god. He's so scary, but so cute. He's adorable. Oh, I love me some good money, so count us in, you little weirdo. <laughs> You little weirdo. So, you end up in the woods, looking for a good bug, that, that little weirdo. Question is, what bug will you try to catch? Mm, oh my god. Catch a tapeworm at your own risk. <laughs> okay. Catch a bug, but like an outright game bug? Okay, oh. well, well, we gotta also think, we want to try and make it take away either mind, soul, or stamina. So we gotta think of what the punishment is gonna be. Um, I feel like tapeworm is gonna be stamina. Cause that's like a health thing for sure. Yeah. Um I have no idea the outcome of cow of catching a game bug. <clears throat> Except for maybe a game crashing. Right. Um It could be mind. Or it would maybe magic, so. Yeah, let's do tapeworm because I'll play it safe. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea? Yeah. Handling a parasite probably isn't your best idea. But then again, money. After a bit of searching, you find a cave. And luckily, the wolves are writhing with tapeworm. Ew! No, I don't get why people are so scared of these guys. What's not to like about having a parasitic pal in your gut who never ever leaves you? And keeps you skinny. Just he saying. Does, yeah, keeps you skinny. <laughs> you like bugs? No, I hate bugs. I hate bugs. I hate them no. so much. <clears throat> I can think of a few things to dislike about that, but this is Pumpkin's mistake, not mine. <laughs> Speaking of which... We're going to need to store the tapeworm somewhere to bring it back. So, Pumpkin, say ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it is very <laughs> it's a very uncomfortable walk back. I knew it was going to be stamina. Tapeworm eating your breakfast, robbing you of minus three stamina. <sighs> okay, okay. Oh, you're back. <laughs> what did you catch for me? Give me, give me. Uh... <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Our little friend seems to have some stage fright. 
punch me in the gut, I bet it'll come out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this guy grabs your mouth and yells into it. It's okay, tiny friend. Just imagine all of us in our underwear. I didn't mean the stage fright thing literally, Scott. And yet, that might have been literally what was happening. Because soon enough, the tapeworm timidly emerges from your throat. Tapeworm for me? Did Toy Day come early this year? Thanks. Tapeworms are way cooler than the regular worms you can harvest from the corpses I may or may have not buried in the woods earlier today. The cute little weirdo gives you a big hug. Look at that. Which feels like what you can only describe as falling into a vat of TV static. And pays you plus three money. Hope it was worth it. <laughs> there wasn't even a downside. Or did it, it uh, did it take away from stamina? It took stamina. Took stamina. That's fine. So we, we were right. Okay. Ooh. Whatever we feel like doing. I'm going to vibe up here again. Okay. Um, I'm going to get us a little bit of magic. Okay. I'm going to go... I'm going to do the hitchhiker because <clears throat> we need to get out of Yeah. Uh, I'm curious... Well, how much? You can go to the I'm noodle stand I'm curious what the noodle you stand is. You can go there yeah, if you I want. Wanna... I, I can't move myself. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're starting with you. Welcome to the bartering stand, where you can barter with little trinkets and manage your resources a bit. Each trinket is tied to a resource. Lose the resource tied to the trinket, you give away and gain resource tied to the trinket you take. Also, Noodles is here, but I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> Howdy! Uh... Welcome to Noodles Swap Shop, available by invitation only. Sorry. I just started speaking. Oh, but I, I didn't receive an invitation? <laughs> Who cares, really? Anyway, choose something already. Okay. Oh, okay. Sequel to an erotic <laughs> fanfic about dragons. Go. It's dragon oh heat. God. Look, it's That's dragon heat. Absolutely something I would own. Oh, same. <laughs> so, so we're swapping whatever this is with something else. Uh, I'm assuming the gas canister is magic, so I'm not gonna swap that. Yeah. Um, I think the postcard might be mind or soul. Okay. So I'll swap that with a pyramid with a coin in it. Coin from a different dimension. It was soul, so that's fine. Thank you for your business. See you in your darkest dreams. Yeah. Also, sorry I took over that character. I didn't mean to. <laughs> nah, right. nah, you're good. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, we're gonna go cautious. Oh, well, <laughs> didn't give it's us magic. I mean, that's fine. Anyway. Uh, Ooh, I got this kind. You're welcome. Erotic novels. Uh, B -B B -O. B -O. I do. I also love read. muscles, bro. B -O. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. Like, hella. <laughs> They're my little bulky friends that are always with me. That's a nice way to look at it. I even gave them names. This is Herbert. This one's Lucy Sue. This is Commander Crunch. Later I learned muscles actually have names. Like Deltoid, tri uh, trapeze Trapezius, Sartorius. I still like my names better. I do too. Thanks. When I work out, I like to think I'm helping my muscles as, as I keep them big, healthy, and happy. And you're doing a good job. Oh, I look at that. Ba Daru's blushing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and don't laugh. Aw, they're both blushing. But sometimes, I like drawing little faces on my muscles and imagining that they're supporting me while I exercise. <laughs> Go, does that work? <laughs> Go, Scott. <laughs> I know they're not really alive, but still, it feels nice. I think it's cute. He's adorable. Scott looks at the star, and you look at Scott's muscle. All is right with the world. <laughs> yeah, okay. sounds about right. We love that. We're gonna change hick. Oh! <gasps> 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 Damien and, and Moss. Moss! So, for one week, every turn you'll gain plus hype and lose stamina. For one week, every turn you'll gain a random resource and lose another random resource. 
Oh, God. Well, one of them we know what to build up on so it doesn't break down, and the other one we don't. We don't. don't. It'll be a random one. So we'll, we'll go with Damien. You're, you're voicing Damien, man. Dara. Me too. Hope left the party. You invite Damien to join the road trip. Am I doing this one? Yeah. Oh, you're giving me a ride? <laughs> I was honestly <laughs> just hoping you'd give me some free gasoline. For sure. Fuck it. I can tag along with you noobs for a bit. So This metal. is the man that rejected me last time. Spending <laughs> <laughs> time with him is like chugging five energy drinks. Next week, every turn, you'll gain plus hype and lose. And his stamina, exciting, but exhausting. Let's oh, go. we did it. Yeah. Let's go. Knifeland. Oh, sold. Hey, yo. Let's go. We get to go to Knifeland? I think I is, this must be land. it. I think we made it to the end of the game. Oh, I think so too. The road trip road comes, trip to, comes an to an end. Knifeland, the land of fun and knives. Please. You ride all the rides twice. They're awesome and deadly in equal parts. There's not one, but two free falls. <laughs> There's the pit full of spikes and the guillotine, which let you keep a severed head as a silly memento. There's Since also the has... blender. Huh? Oh, my bad. Oh, no, that's all right. Yeah, <laughs> the pendulum and a volcano. You're still unsure if the volcano was supposed to be a ride or if it was just a random volcano that happens to be there. Aww. And there's a murder mansion with actual murder. So much fun. And you even managed to survive, which is a big plus. Knife land forever. Let's go. Knife land is honestly best that could happen. And also, that wasn't all. Simpy oh. has requested that everybody hydrate. Okay, By yes. The way, I'll I'm drink drinking. right. I'm drinking. I need the weight. Mm -hmm. Congrats. Also, thank you for the hydrate redeem. Thank you, thank You've you. Reached a destination, but there's more to it. Every player gets an individual ending. Let's go. You could end up being a lame loser, just okay, or the MVP. In multiplayer mode, the result will be determined based on how much you each contributed to the resource needed to reach the destination. In single player that. mode, it is determined by your overall resource spread. There's also the date ending, which has its own requirements. But ending up in a, a lame loser will override the date ending. No dates allowed for lame losers. Oh Damn. no. Anyway, Damn. Let's judge you. Knifeland base? Dara. Absolutely. Okay, Yay. so Knife so land. so the way we do this is for the endings, we let everyone narrate themselves since it's their special ending. Oh, Let's go. Oh god, okay. <clears throat> Imagine your surprise when you all see the sign saying you must be this cool to enter. This is the last place you expected to have to deal with something like this. Fortunately, everyone is that cool. Unfortunately, I actually met everyone but you. <laughs> oh no. Ooh. <laughs> don't worry, I'll probably be joining you in that car. Don't worry about it. So you're forced to stay in the car during the whole visit. You know what? That's where I wanted to be. Whatever. <laughs> Ironically, that makes you even more uncool. Sigh. No. I don't. So much hassle finally paid off. You got to Knife Land. This has been thrilling, enriching, and dare I say, life changing. Aw, you feel like you're a different person in a way. Yes, you're at Nightland, but now you realize the road trip isn't really its destination. Dang, the road trip isn't even really the journey. No, no. You finally see that the road trip is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Does go. that make sense? No, who cares, anyway? Finally, Nightland. You have to click for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. This is so important to you, it's hard to explain. Well, actually, it's not. You see, you've been holding in gas for the last three stops <laughs> since you didn't want to fart in front of your friends. <laughs> hey, it's only normal. But now you're here, and you can see your friends heading to Knife Land. They're so happy, and you will join them in a minute. But first, uh -huh. 
You fart. <laughs> Crazy. Beautiful. Pump pumpkin just it's goes one of off the, most the fart. Releasing... <laughs> you know exactly. Got to step to the side. You know, it's one of the most releasing things you will ever experience. Sometimes it's the little things that matter. Mhm. Mm You're also incredibly proud of yourself for holding it in this long. It shows how much constraint and discipline you've truly grown up during this trip. You're now a different person. A person with less gas. <laughs> I think Daru might have gotten the MVP. Knife land, yay. Most I'm heading out. Okay. You have the best fucking time in this land of fun and knife. But you just, uh, but just having fun isn't enough for you. No. You must conquer knife land. And how do you conquer a theme park? Easy. By taking the coolest picture of a ride. You choose the ride. Splish, splash, and splash. Somehow oh my god! To sneak a gaming console and a full ass TV onto the ride. I love this picture. And you coordinate it expertly enough that when the pic is taken, you're in the middle of a video game match. Scott's face is crazy. Ooh. <laughs> hey yo, you're Kirby. Playing a video game might be nerdy, but playing video games while going full, full speed down a waterfall made of knives? You're crowned the nerdiest of all badass. And the badassest of all nerds. Look at that. Let's go. <laughs> I'm four. <laughs> I like... I like the I, second was a fart. I was gonna say, like, I know I got third, but at least mine was, like, I just, like, reflected on the trip and just saw, like, mm -hmm. yeah, I had a great I time. I just released a fat fart. You know what? This is my retribution because I did so well the last you time did. we played Monster you, Prom. You I did, did so bad get last laid. time, so... I'm happy for this. I did. You did get it's laid. It's not the journey. And a special yeah. ending. Exactly. See, 17. New good. Look. We, and it technically, we all got a good ending. There's 46 of Let's them. Let's go. True, true. Good. Good of good. course, there is 69 locations. Of course. Yeah. Of course, there is. Also, Shinizu, hello. <gasps> hi. Welcome in. Hi, guys. <laughs> hi. And just like that, the road trip come to an end. It was full, it was full to the brim with danger, fun, and utter nonsense. It was everything we could have expected from a road trip with Polly and Scott, and then some. <laughs> we not only survived the whole thing, but we conquered it and came out different people. It all turned out to be a pilgrimage into self-discovery, a rite of passage, a quest for growth. A released fart. <laughs> that is to say, a fucking good road trip. As we're heading back home, I thought about, uh, I thought about how all of this was just one of the first, and a much bigger journey that was only just the beginning. Welcome to the streaming hey, hell let's yeah. Go. Good music, good music. I, lo I love these ending animations. <laughs> Why is the turtle the turtle? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't run into Milo, sadly. So I know. sad. Damn. Yep, we made it to the credits, Wong. Welcome, welcome. I always love these ending, like, animatics. They're so cute. They really are. <laughs> these words are killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Big brain. Oh, oh her dress is so cute. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, sorry, Wong. <laughs> I didn't know if you left. But thank you for staying for the whole thing. 
<laughs> the hole. <laughs> the music is great too. <laughs> This is right? even funnier after getting a copyright strike because fucking Ed Sheeran sings at the end of Pokemon. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, did that act that happened? Jeez. Yeah, the freaking song after you beat the game is Ed Sheeran and you can get oh, a copyright strike if, this, if it's hurt. That's so great. <laughs> I think the funniest thing is the character I play in this animatic is like so accurate to IRL me. <laughs> Malo, um, Malo. I said Malo instead of Milo. Calculester. Looks like you and Damien just punched each other in the face. Right. I say a heart feet. Interesting. <laughs> Take back what I literally just said, actually. <laughs> Monster Prom 4. Ooh. If I can't Riz emo next time, I don't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Riz Zara, I don't want to play. <laughs> we gotta make our own dating sim so we can riz each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Game by Glitch Beautiful or Believe Beautiful Glitch. I don't know. It's one of those two. Yeah, one of those. I love two. a little dyslexia. Thanks for playing. <laughs> that was good. Uh, I like it. We did it. We did it, guys. Yeah. Oh, get extra playable characters for your trip. Get extra hitchhikers mm. for your trip. You can now play prank master mode. Here, I just want to read what it. We're not gonna do it, but let's uh, let's read what prank master does. Real okay. quick. Add some cutthroat mechanics to decide who's the MPV MP MVP. Wow, uh, beautiful glitch to declines the responsibility for broken relationships. So it looks like we can mess with each other in prank masters. That's yeah. crazy. I think that would lead to some. Yeah. It's gonna be like you not a good idea. Quattro all over I, again. I, there we go. I, Speaking of Quattro, apparently uh -huh. my coworker had popped in mid Quattro game to oh, see like no. what my streams are about. And she's like, I popped in and it was just screaming. I was like, Yeah. Um and she's like, and then I popped into a different game later and it was still just screaming. And she's like, Is that your stream? Is your stream is just screaming? It was like ninety percent of the time, yeah. Yeah. There's a reason why it's tagged chaotic. There's a reason for the tags, honestly. <laughs> but I feel like Quattro is the worst first thing to pop in on. I was yeah, so heated. Honestly. I was so heated. I didn't even publish the VOD. That's how heated I was. <laughs> honestly, it, I don't know. Somebody's like, this is the calmest I've ever seen somebody play Quattro because any time that I would get more cards, that's just like, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I'd get more cards and I'd smack the shit out of my keyboard. I feel like we were just like complete polar opposites playing Quattro. Yeah, no, literally. I lost three keys on my keyboard in the span of that game. Oh my god. I was just beating the shit out of my keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> we could hear it, man. We could hear it. <laughs> I know you could. That's the funny part. The monkey's paw. You know what happens? I still love that the titty guns are like two pistols and it, instead of like it opening yeah, yeah. That was the best part of that drawing honestly oh here we go vicky is her name my favorite of the playable characters is oz loki i love oz Ooh. he's so cute I, he is adorable. i just want to protect him i, I always is he? he's a he's a shadow mm. Emo, didn't you say that your heart rate got up to like 170 something while we were playing yeah. Quattro? <laughs> yeah, I went to That's 177. Wild. That's wild. <laughs> Don't ever play Quattro again, please. <laughs> I uninstalled the game and I refused to install it again for anything less than $100 donated. Mm, you know what? That's fair. I'll do just about anything for 100 buckaroonies. Mm, yeah. Mm. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> $100 is $100. That's all I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. 
You're That's right. What I'm saying. <laughs> hundred dollars is a hundred dollars. I mean, five gifted subs definitely was not worth it. No, it should have been like twenty gifted subs, and you would have done right. it. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm gonna okay. deafen so I can go ahead and uh, talk to my stream a little bit, talk to chat a little bit, and then end. I will. I, I will, will be doing this. In. I'll be doing the same. It should take okay. like a, uh, I'm gonna a head second out for, for now. Okay. But thank okay. you guys for hanging out. Have a good night, Tar. It was Bye. a lot of fun. Bye. 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 Have a good night, Pookie. Bye. Have a good night. Thanks for Bye, having Pookie. me. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Bye. Okay, okay. I'm gonna well, That was an now. awkward amount oh. of time it took for him to leave. <laughs> Just sorry. Go ahead and deafen. Okay, All right, I'm gonna back. do the same. All right. I don't think they can hear me now. Am I deafened? I am deafened. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, that was Monster Prom 3. When you say goodbye and walk the same direction. True. That happens a lot while, while leaving. But. All right. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hydrate. Oh, this yeah. is just a threat. Bliss, I'm drinking right now. But that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. We got to all do dumb voices. Uh, I don't know if I like... I think my favorite so far is Monster Prom 2, the Monster Camp one. Hydrate for the road. Correct. Perfect. Uh, I I think I like uh, Monster Prom 2 the most. I think that one's just still really fun. It does take a while, but like we all consistently get characters to talk, like do to voice and stuff like that. Um, this one was a little bit like it was made like having Scott and Polly go to everyone is a little bit weird, uh, but that's all right. It's still a great game. It's still a lot of fun. Had some fun stories to do, but we'll probably do Monster Prom two next time whenever we do it. Um, but yeah. So thank you guys so much for showing up. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys had a good time just uh, messing around with us as we uh, just tried to go through the road trip. So, But I'm going to read out to... Um, let me see. That's a good question. Who am I going to? Um... We'll uh we'll read out to Boop. Boop Sir Gaming, who was here a little while ago. I don't know. Uh so we'll we'll read out to Boop and yeah. So I'll click start raid. Um one sec. Let me do the usual like thingy. And boom, boom, boom. Just the usual one. Here you go. If you want to copy that. But thank you guys for so so much for coming and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll uh I'll see you on Saturday. I'm taking tomorrow off because I'm going uh to go celebrate my sister's birthday. But I'll be back Saturday for old school Saturday. We're gonna play uh Spyro 2 with Joe's Rage. We're gonna play the remaster of it. Just because I know it's old school Saturday, but it's it's fine. It counts. But yeah, so I'll see you guys later and have fun at, with Boop.